What's happening, lids? Before we start today's amazing episode, got to tell you about Adam Rowe's tour that is still on. It is still on. Uh, I've got some dates left this year and more dates uh, into next year, and it's been extended as far as May next year. Some really big news coming soon. The big show left this year, Manchester Apollo, on the 9th of December. There's still some tickets left up the back of the circle. Go and get them and come and be part of the biggest night of my career as a personal, as a solo artist so far. Uh, I'm very, very excited, but there are dates all over the country and all over over Ireland as well, adamrow.co.uk for all of your tickets. Now, this is the Have A Word podcast. I'm sure you're aware of that, but we have got the biggest and best Patreon in the UK and one of the biggest on the planet. Why is it one of the biggest and best, Daniel? Because every week we do a Patreon exclusive, an hour, an hour and a half of just the lads talking shit. Hyperbolics, the best podcasting we do, and that's only, ve only available on Patreon. £3 a month, £5 a month, or £10 a month. You can pick your tier, but even from just three quid a month, you get access to the extra episode every week. You get early access to these public episodes. And on top of that, the big one. The, the, the pièce de résistance for us is our. <laughs> Our monthly Patreon specials. The roast of Adam and Dan. We've done two ghost stunts. The amount of lock-ins we've done in here where we all get pissed. There's so Nashville. The ghost hunts. Oh, my God. There's so many. Are we Amsterdam. up to about 25 plus now? It's, there's so many. There's so much content there, and you get it all immediately the second you sign up for three quid. quid. Patreon.com slash have a word pod. Lid. Pause the video. Go and sign up, and then come back, because this week's episode is a belter. Join the lid army. Get on me. Wag Wag Leeds, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Carl and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go Ed, get on me. How are we? Tremendous. How are you, my love? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm a little under the weather. <gasps> Just a little. Uh, I haven't slept brilliantly. You do, you're going to be fine. You're with friends. You're one of the yeah. best podcasters in the and country. You just wake up like every half an hour and I went immediately back to sleep every time, but just waking up. So I've just woke up feeling a bit. Ugh. We've got you, boo. We've got you. This is reminding me. I've got a present for you. You know, we're not, you know, uh, I like a nana bought loads of presents dead early in the year because <laughs> I get in my head that I'm not good at presents and I saw stuff and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. So I've had these at home for ages. For and then we all decided that we got secret sand. We were doing that, mm. which was fine. Great. But then what am I doing with these? So I'm going to give them out. Is that all right? I mean, if you only give gifts Oh, off, now. I'm, 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 not, I'm not wrapped them. But Carl, that's for you. Oh, God, catch it. Catch it, Daddy. Shall I open it now or wait for everyone else? Yeah, no, don't. Just won't open it. Open it. This, these were going to be in your, in your prezzies. Um, Finn? That's <laughs> sick. Of course, Could... from the show Breaking Bad. And there you go. Thank there you, you go. It's good what was it, Carl? None uh, of us have seen it. Oh, it's a Los Boyos Hermanos uh, mug, and it is a Best Console mug. So. Ooh. It's my second one of the day. <laughs> and, a ba and a baseball jacket. <laughs> it is. Yes. You wait for oh, you wait for Turkish football tops all year round, and then <laughs> then two come at once. And then another one for Finn because he's my son. Oh, there you go, Finn. Dad. Thanks, Dad. Merry Christmas, everyone. Where's, where's Adam gone? Oh, he's gone to look in the mirror, isn't he? He's it? gone to look Obviously. in the mirror. Obviously, it's a bit of him, though, isn't it? It is a, a bit San of Francisco him. Giants proper baseball jacket. Why do you want to call him? Oh. An, oh. an Oasis poster. Oh. There you go. Merry Christmas, Thank boys. You, that is the best fitting varsity jacket I've ever tried on. And it's got a zip in it as well. So it's just one of those buttony uppy ones. It's lovely on the shoulder. Oh, you go, Dan, on the shoulders. you're not a nana. You've smashed this. That's all right, isn't it? It is. And I got... There you go. Thank you. Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. Uh, I haven't got and anything I, back. I, but you don't have to get I me anything back because it's just, it's a technicality, isn't it? You don't have to give me anything. Oh, oh that's A lovely. soggy straw in the top of a coffee. Oh. Adam. 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 Try Adam. You smashed it. <laughs> That's oh. the best fit and soggy straw you've ever oh, tried. Oh, you're leaving the salt and pepper. Oh. You're going to need that later. So, Merry Christmas, you Merry filthy animals. Room. Thank you, sir. I'm, in, I'm into it now. I'm there. I'm absolutely into it. I'm ready. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm I'd, getting there. Because I pretend to be into it for a while, but I listened to the uh, Muppets Christmas Carol soundtrack on Alexa last night, and it really, it's really caught the imagination. I'm in. I'm ready for some Christmas booze in, which we've got planned in. We've got a fucking work Christmas do because we've got a grown up 
fucking proper company. Oh, we've got to go to Las Vegas tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, and then you're going to Las Fuck Vegas. See. What's, and what's more Christmassy than Las Vegas with the lads? <laughs> There'd be so many lights oh, there. Oh, then though. UFC 298? Ooh, six. 296. Oh, and oh. I think my cock's got bigger. Oh, and you're having a good cock Christmas. So, you know, I've been telling you, I've been having like good cock days. I think I've just got good cock. And you're just having more Haven't you been sex? telling us about good cock for ages though? No, but like... It, so, you mean it this time? No, it's not when it's hard. That's pretty consistent. But like, I've just, I've got more of a shower than I used to have. Right. In the winter as well? Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine oh, when the man. summer comes around. Okay. Isn't that just more intercourse? What? Yeah. Just the result of more intercourse. I don't think so. Is I've it, always been into pussy. Is it swell? <laughs> Is it swelling? Maybe. It sounds sore. I did so trap I think... it in the fridge door. Oh, yeah. oh where's that pussy? Where are you keeping that? <laughs> also, isn't your fridge door like Next high? to the butter. What? Your tiptoes, isn't your fridge door dead high? Yeah. <laughs> Freezer door. Get <laughs> a boner. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, good for you, mate. I'm really glad. Just thought I'd let you know. It's so nice to hear about your dick so much. <laughs> really, it genuinely is. It really is. Danny, you you coming to Vegas? Did you book you on? Are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise! That would no. be the best Christmas present you could have got me. No, no, I'm. I'm You'd like I'm, to though. It's just the fucking old ball and chain wind, you know. If uh, <laughs> every week was twelve days, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. If honestly, if Laura leaves me, oh, I can move to Las Vegas. <laughs> Where do you want to go? If she just fucking fucks off. Oh dear. You, you oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> she, I, oh. But I can't because I love her and she makes me dead happy. Right, okay, but yeah. if she fucked off, I'd be like so like scorned. <laughs> you want to see me scorned. I'm going to be way more fun scorned. Whoa. Watch me go then. But right now she's the best thing that's ever happened to me and I love being at home with my well kids. Well done. But if she dares fuck me off oh, and oh. move back to Nottingham or some shit or Sheffield because that's where my family is. You know what I mean? Watch yeah. me go. I'd be like, lads, we're going to Vegas. I'd be like, oh, we just got back. I'm like, we're going again. <laughs> we're going stay again. in Vegas. Oh, that'd be sad, wouldn't it? That'd be I'm really sad. Because I used to do a bit of this. Wanking men off. <laughs> it's the best place to do in the world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. A bit of craps. Snake eyes, baby. Yeah. Cheers on me. Um, so what's, you're going to Vegas to Mozzie's. Yeah. And then you'll get there jet lagged with all the budget. That's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Lads, we've got to stay up till midnight. That's our how flight jet lag times works. make everything really good, to be honest. Because oh, yeah. we, we fly at our four in the afternoon. We get there at like eight Las Vegas time. And by the time we're in the hotel and had a little bite to eat, it'll be 11 o'clock and we'll be ready for bed. And it, so we can just wake <laughs> up the next day. That's not yeah. how first I'm night with I'm the boys yeah, yeah. work. I'm sleeping on the plane and not there. That's, no. Come on, that's you know that. Do you, you've met you. <laughs> I don't know if this big dick has changed it. <laughs> what are you on about? No, Adam, You'll when you get, get to Vegas there. with the boys, you go to bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we did say. We said famously, the same thing Adam that wrote, right, everyone, okay, you, what are you doing? Reading? You're going to just scroll a bit? Right, night, night. There you go. There's a bathroom. All right, bathroom for the lads. I've been told, by the way, not to turn the aircon on because apparently it's full of oxygen to keep you awake. And I've had not people first and experience when you, stay, when you stay in the casino hotels. As opposed to being full of what? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Apparently they pump oxygen into your room through the aircon. Right, they pump th oxygen into the room. Oh, now we're going to be able to breathe. What oh, are you talking about? No. What? You do realise oxygen puts you asleep. <laughs> like it makes you tired. Uh, so it sort of keeps you awake. It stops you going. <laughs> you do realise the wrong thing I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do realise carbon monoxide is actually fine. Stop being a massive pussy. <laughs> what? I thought that was just in the uh, casino car. I didn't know. I don't think that's in the whole. Oh, yeah, they stop at the casino. Shut, shut the doors. Don't do it in the rooms where they want to keep them away. So you think. No, you, I've been think, told. Yeah, by someone who's full of shit. Yeah. Go, so you honestly, go, to your... go to Bellagio, ask for a coffee, you get methamphetamine. <laughs> that's a fact. I've been told. I've been told. So they pump oxygen into your bedroom so that you can't sleep. So you go to the casino. Right. Why do I think that's not a good business model? Because it isn't. Why isn't it? Google, Google, maybe. Google, Google Who says told no. you this? It's John. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Was it a random follower? No. It was a person I've met on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we trying to call out bullshit? The whole podcast is bullshit. Fair enough. I'm not saying the I'd rather fucking roast to death than stay awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
It's the same when you stay in Brighton because they put they put poppers through the the aircon, so and then bombed. you end up yeah you end up bumming someone. <laughs> this is weird. Why? Because you got to lose a bum bum. Why Brighton though then? What? Because it's the gay capital of the UK, and they like bumming. Yeah. What I mean, the, it, what if they're women? What? what? Gay women? Yeah. Well, poppers they... opens your pussy up. Oh dear. Does it? Yeah. No, it's just bum all, isn't it? It's all your orifices. Really? Orifices. Yeah. Hey, if, I don't know if you. <laughs> your mouth gets massive. You, yeah. You can hear things from miles away while you're getting bummed. Oh my god. There's a whale at sea. Can you Google that? <laughs> huh? Do poppers open your pussy? Yeah. They definitely do your bum all, don't they? <laughs> oh, that time when that girl got poppers out after a night out and just put it on the side and then we got naked and my dick didn't work. Oh. Do you know you what can't have Viagra and then have poppers because it can kill you if you have Viagra followed by poppers. It's like having nine bananas, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. It does. Does, does it loosen it up does. Because poppers increases blood flow and can relax the walls of the anus and Relax. vagina. Yes. Oh, wow. Does it make your dick hole bigger? <laughs> One minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, there's no elasticity to, to your bugger, is there? He wants to be a musician. He wants to be a serious um, musician. Just, uh, will you just Google that, please? Does poppers make your dick hole bigger? Nice one, Finn. No. And, oh, you haven't got a record deal yet. There's no, no elasticity man. on it. Oh, sorry. You know your dick It is dick a holes. semi-permeable membrane. Oh, now. God. <laughs> right, let's get some poppers. I've had poppers. What? I've had poppers loads. Have you? Yeah. It's just a... It's, it's it called, makes you head off, doesn't it? Yeah, it's called room aroma. You get it in the offy. That's room mad, aroma? It's called... Yeah, my mum puts it on potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go around there. Fucking hell. Look at that. No, Smell so bad. obviously you can't oh, sell asshole. it as a as a, a class L drug or whatever it is because it's basically just fucking like brain liquor. <laughs> they call it room aroma, so they can sell it as like, oh, it's just an odor, but it really it makes your bum all big. Ah, uh, odor yeah. bum all. Yeah, room as they say in front. Yeah. Room aroma, that's called. Cool. Room aroma, mm. brilliant. When they can start selling cocaine as like confidence giver. <laughs> <laughs> I just what 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 is that? Please how you get that's around? Stupid, Ali. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? Or like, What's so this in your pocket? It's confidence giver, that's it. It's Put it the, back. It's the same for NOS, isn't it? I feel nervous. Hey, the, what these... <laughs> at Clone Zone, there's just there's literally dildos, whips, butt plugs, yeah. and then room aroma. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah cool. and NOS is sold as whipped cream. Whip cr- yeah, because we used to use it in Miyagi for the whipped cream, and we'd like, be like, oh, we could get fuck. NOS. Yeah. Laughing gas. Laughing gas. Uh, Balloons. Have you had the balloon done? They're unbelievable, mate. No, they're not. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you look so stupid doing it. Yeah. You look so stupid having a balloon. We did it that many at our Christmas party ones that the operations manager came in the next day and didn't know what the, the canisters were and literally went fucking ape shit. Everyone get in here now and clean this metal up. <laughs> clean this metal up? Yeah, there's metal everywhere. <laughs> Listening to music when doing them is fucking... Music? Music. <laughs> music. <laughs> music. <laughs> <Yeah>. Listening to <laughs> music. Metal music. <laughs> Listening to music uh, when you're doing them is wild. It's hilarious. So yeah, dr- what? I'm sorry. Are you telling someone no, who's done drugs? A- no. Listening <laughs> to music while doing drugs is good for no, music. No, it's only a short oh, term. Can't. You blow me away. It's only a short term effect, isn't it? It's I not know, like you mate. On Have you done it, Dan? Uh, I think we did it a little bit, but to now. When did I do it? When I was 27. I think I was like already a bit like, what we're doing? They're like, oh, you've got a balloon and then you breathe in. And I was just. I think everyone just looked fucking stupid. It and does I look into stupid. It. All drugs look stupid. Yeah, but they don't look like you're a paedophile at a kid's party, do they? You know what I mean? Like, at least with most drugs, you just get to You look them. more stupid doing a balloon than doing, like, cocaine off a hooker's tits. Yeah, he's can't, right. I can't argue I with that. I can't argue with that, can I? Yeah. Have you ever tried doing a balloon off a... <laughs> <laughs> out of a hooker's asshole? <laughs> but then it's just helium. You go, hello! <laughs> <laughs> That'd no, I'm sick. not. I don't think. I don't it's know. A prank. I don't. <laughs> balloons. Balloons seem. Like, yes, gotcha. yeah. I don't need drugs, me. I'm high on life and Negronis. <laughs> yeah, and then coffee and coffee, alcohol, yeah. and then sometimes drugs. But apart from that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what it is, is, don't you? There's new fucking. You ain't either, though. Oh yeah. yeah. You, no. are you ready? For you this? think golf was a thing? Get him a button. <laughs> Oh my word. Wow. Fucking Danny Cold Plunge. Oh, Adam. Oh, I've seen you in your little bucket. Oh, Adam. you're going to love it. Obsessed. Oh, you are going to love it. How do I see? Good. You do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flying, mate. You know why? Because <laughs> I haven't seen my dick for seven days. It's oh, I'm having a terrible dick winter. It's hibernating Have like a fucking nervy like a squirrel. <laughs> um, so, What's your three record? minutes 20. Oh. 
But I did, I felt the cold after the three minutes 20. Like I didn't like the feeling afterwards. I got like, I got some elation and, so and then I couldn't get soon. warm for a bit. Mm. So someone has got in. So since it's on the Patreon episode that is out now, Ishan stood in for Adam. I banged on about this. Uh, the lump on my foot has gone down. I feel amazing. Oh. It's an unbelievable start to the day. I thought I was going to be shit at it. The first time I went in, I couldn't do more than 17 seconds. I'm now up to three minutes. I love it. I'm doing it twice a day. It's fucking immense. And I don't think I want to push for 15 minutes. I think I'd rather try and get the temperature down and do two, three minutes at like three, two, three Who's degrees. Doing 15 minutes? Apparently. That's the optimum time. Old yeah. Vim Hoff and uh, some of the people that do it say that 10 to 15 minutes, but I've had loads of people in my DMs this morning going, oh mate, I'm so made up that you're into it. It's brilliant, it's done me the world of good, but uh, genuinely two minutes or three minutes is gonna get you all the benefits. With, like I came out after three and a half minutes and I don't know if maybe just that's how I was feeling that day or whatever, but I couldn't shake the feeling of cold in me. Like it, I feel like it gone to into my bones. bones. Yeah. Whereas the other mornings you just literally, it's like, you, it's just invigorating. It's a bit like having a line of coke. There was a comment saying that you should be moving about though. And if you stay still, it builds up a resistance and that's not what you meant Maybe to do. Maybe that's what I've been trying to do. Right, well, I'll do the fucking Macarena when I'm in <laughs> Cool. I'll I'm into it. it. Get me one. Oh, it's so good. So- You live in an apartment. We need, we, we, so, got a roof. <laughs> got a spare room. A spare roof. A spare room. Yeah. Just you can put, put a cold thing in the spare room, can't you? Yeah. Just make it like a wet play area. <laughs> There's a lot of splash, Is but that? you're used to that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it meant to be like hose pipe to full? How do you fill it? Just like with the dish, the dish bucket? What do you call it? What do you call that? What's it called? Right, what? <laughs> <laughs> Moosey. <laughs> What's that called that you put the dishes in? I haven't got one, but the plastic things? The dish bowl. Dish bowl, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> the washing up bowl. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> I like no one had ever used words before. The water container. Do I, do, I, do I need one of them or could I just like put some fucking ice in me bath? You can do that, yeah. Ah, that's, yeah, I think you can. But don't do that. It's not as cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's not cool. I want one, but uh, my God. Oh, lads. Get, so we need a spot. We need to Apparently get- it's good for stripping fat off you as well. You'll lose weight. It's good for strippers as well. It's good for fat strippers. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you got in the sauna to lose weight. Is it the opposite way? Do both. Well? Any extremes going for the body and the mind and the soul. That's why I get sauna, cold plunge, paraglide. That's me. <laughs> yeah, and then join ISIS. That is extreme. <laughs> We've all got lovely souls, though. Um, I do want to go. I reckon I'll, I've done it in, in Tough Mudder. We did the Into the Ice. That was hard. It's sore, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, even Laura's done it and she likes it. Everyone needs to get on board with this. We need a sponsor. Steve's working on it because I am not going to stop. But if you ask me about this shit, I will bang on about it. It feels fucking Can great. Can we get one in here, indoors? This, it, water goes everywhere. It pisses water because you you fill it to a level. And then once you get in, it's very hard to stop water going over. Pedestalsis. Yeah. Also, you want it up above your shoulders. Oh, guys, talk to me about cold plunges. The tits. Etta got two toes in, cried, and has never been two anywhere toes? near toes? She was like, oh, if you're doing it, and that's the I want to do it. What effect, angle was she putting her foot in her? I tried to lower her in. The like, that's the Archimedes effect, I apologize. Of course. Yeah, thank you. Pedestalsis is the use of muscles. Are we ah. going to become cold plunge guys? Oh, please. Oh, a cold please. plunge podcast. If you can still have a, a dig, a, a, a what? A dig? <laughs> if you can still <laughs> a have good a dig day. day. <laughs> if you can have a good dick day after a four degree cold plunge, then your dick is well up there. Aren't you meant to be like Philabs though? Isn't it meant to be zero? Four degrees is like the bath, isn't it? What? It's not warm, four degrees. No, cool. even like 30 degrees Fahrenheit is cold enough for it to give you the uh, benefits. I have looked into this before. <laughs> Fahrenheit. Yeah, because all the people who talk about it are American gobshites, aren't they? Oh, bloody hell, it's 25 out today. It's freezing. What's, <laughs> what's, Shut up. what's 30 degrees Fahrenheit? Because uh, <laughs> I've been doing it about six, five, six, and it feels cold, Carl. I mean, you're saying minus one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 30 degrees Fahrenheit, that'll work. So what, what, Maybe it's so 50. what do you think you've been doing that? <laughs> Four, like six, six, seven degrees. Six. I, cause I What's 50? 50 Fahrenheit Yeah. Uh, is 10, 10 degrees. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> That's the bath, isn't it? Yeah. 
That's all. Yeah, so you want it about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. That's what I meant. In the middle. For about 20 minutes. What? I do so. want to go. I don't know. I like it. I know. Come around to yours for a cold plunge day. Oh, apps are fucking. Have you been to it yet? No. No, we're gonna do a nice Scary barbecue. Fuller. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a nice barbecue in the summer if that's all oh, right. Oh yeah. You've been saying this since 2020. <laughs> you can, I will. Car, Carl's been around. It was yeah, absolutely yeah. lovely. Yeah, the yeah, kids, yeah. the yeah. kids love him. Yeah, Wallace was there. The guinea pigs. Uh, you should have said you wanted to come. That was good, man. You, yeah. you didn't even state a preference. I'd like to do a, a, like a, a bar barbecue with everyone. Oh, and we'll get, and we'll get Tom at Smoke Face Griller. Uh, Tom can do it, yeah. He's yeah. the goat, isn't he? So. All right. I do want you around, but you're a very busy man, mm. you know? And also, Carl's just so much more we're closer, you know? Mm. We're more available to each other. Mm. How was the Apollo, Adam? Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. It was a very long and difficult day. Um, I was up at seven to go to the passport office because I lost my passport <laughs> five days before flying to Las Vegas. 10 out of 10. Would not recommend for you stress <laughs> levels. <laughs> <laughs> so I found out Friday night that I'd lost it. Turned the flat upside down. It's a good job you checked because I, I haven't looked at my passport since we last went on Aldi. <laughs> so I might not be going to Vegas either, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got no idea where this passport can be. Like, I've looked in every bag, in every corner of my flat, every single inch of it I've turned, I empty, emptied everything that it could possibly be in, every drawer. It is not in my apartment when at did, all. When did you last Text me ex-girlfriend and was like, I don't suppose like when, like in-, in Greece. In the sort Greece, of- Greece, what? yeah. Was it Greece? Yeah, Greece was the last one. And I was like, I don't suppose I've sort of left it in yours. She's like, absolutely not. You know, if I had it, I'd have- like Banter. insisted dropping it off. She was like, uh, e even she was like, if you need help looking for it, like, like I can look in my bags in here, like just let me know. And I was like, no, just don't worry about it. I went to passport office first thing Saturday morning. I was just like, I've heard you can do one day passports. And they were like, yeah, for a renewal, not for a lost one. And they went, are you going for work? And I said, yes. Technically you are. And I'm you should have said, no, I said yes, and they went, well, then you can get a one-day passport, but what we'll need you to do is go and get a letter signed from your boss. And I said, <laughs> I'm the director of the company. And she said, well, then you can't get it. And I said, so you're telling me everyone who works for me could get a one-day passport, but I can't because I own the company. And they went, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I went, what if I got my business partner to write a letter for me? And they went, unless you were demoted, what? So you were below him. How are they proven that? I would accept the proposal <laughs> for one day only. I run this. So they went, what we can do is- Listen, can... if you want to work for me and Carl, <laughs> let us know. I Fine said- with Fine with it. I said, so- Can you find a pen? Yep. What working. can I do? And they go, well, we can do a one week fast track. We'll do it this morning for you. We'll do it straight away. And you just have to hope it comes in less than a week. Oh. It probably will. But that is off the record. We can't guarantee it. So since then, I've been anxiously waiting for passport Sugar arrive. pit bacon right over the counter. <laughs> I think you can make it get a bacon. I literally <laughs> said to the fella, I, <laughs> the fella at the door, I literally said to him, I went, can anyone else hear us right now? And he, <laughs> and he went, he went, what do you mean? I said, is there like microphones? <laughs> and he went, what would there be microphones for? And I said, I will pay you. Like, I'll put money in your bank to make this happen today. And he was like, I can't do it. So they did a one week. What an amazing way to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if he just went, right, you have just tried to bribe a civil servant, no less. Is that legal? Three months. <laughs> Is it legal to bribe a civil servant? Uh, <laughs> do you know what? Probably... There's probably rules about it. I it wouldn't, probably is. I wouldn't think it would be on Adam. I don't think he's c committed a crime. The pensions office is civil servants, isn't it? That's probably, that's to do with money. So that's Yeah, may maybe you're in a chop, bit of choppy water. Sorry, go on. Um, it is illegal to bribe a civil servant. Well, luckily he was just a security <laughs> guard, so it didn't matter anyway. Oh, right. Um, so, uh, what the fuck are you asking? <laughs> Sorry, I know you work at the Costa around the corner. <laughs> I give you a thousand pounds. Could you sort this out? You know, you sell them coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. <laughs> All right, lad. Um, so anyway, they fast-tracked it, and luckily I got a text before saying it's on the way. We fly to Vegas tomorrow. It's all worked out. Oh, so that was great. Great. that was 8 o'clock. 8 a.m. Saturday morning before the Apollo was that. Get to Manchester uh, to watch the game. Didn't get there in time, so went to the Apollo to drop the equipment off. Then went and watched the second half of the Liverpool game. Then went back to the Apollo to do the sound check, which took nearly two hours instead of the half an hour it can usually take. It's because there was so much more tech, lights, it looked incredible. Um, it just took a little bit longer. 
Then went back to the hotel to try and nap. And a few little things went on. And I was dealing with things on my phone and talking to people who were coming to the show. And I just couldn't nap. So then before I went on stage at the Apollo, I was literally dead on my feet. I'd had five hours sleep the night before because I was up till two o'clock looking for my passport. I'd got up at seven to go and get my passport sorted. I'd had five hours sleep and been up since 7 a.m. And also, there was 14.2 million, 14 million people oh trying to drive around Manchester on Saturday yeah, night. So I, I Unbelievable. Left, I left my hotel in Manchester City Centre at half six and got to the Apollo, which is in Manchester, at eight o'clock. It took an hour and a half to go from Manchester to Manchester. It's fucking insane. So, so I get there and I am literally dead on my feet. Like, I've just... I'm asleep, basically. I don't really remember getting to the Apollo. Yeah, you were dazed when you walked in. And um, I had six espressos wow. and a coffee as well. So I had I had a Nescafe coffee, like an instant coffee, and that didn't do anything. So then you know those little Nespresso pods that are double espresso? I had three of them while Brennan, Alfie, and Jamie were on. I just I went to Gordon. I went, he's like one of the, uh, the tech managers and a tour manager for a lot of big people. I said, could you just do me three of those pods? He's like, they're a double espresso. I went, just do me three of the pods. Just do them. And he went, do you want any water or milk? I went, just do me the pods. I went, I just need, I need a fucking yeah. liquid cocaine. That's why acts, That's why big acts do cocaine. Yeah. How do you do a well tour, 300 nights a year? Like, how do you do it? It's, it was mad. So, also having loads of people come to these events. I didn't, I knew we were all there. But then when we got to the after party, there was about, you had about 35, 40 people, didn't yeah, you? There yeah. was loads. Um, it's hard tying that all together, isn't it? And yeah, it was... Uh, I tried to clear the dressing room for you when you got there. Yeah, because I, like, I seen I you like, see me and go, oh, he doesn't want everyone here. But that's not what it was. And I, I genuinely... I, so I would have been like, I need a little bit of chill. But yeah. you, you don't thrive on like that. You're fine with the... But I get I was, energized by people. And also, I knew I was going to get half an hour while everyone was on stage. Right, cool, cool, cool. Um... So yeah, I don't remember every minute of the show because I was tired and off me fucking tits on caffeine. Um, but I just know it was the best show of the tour and the fight kicking off the footage from that will be great. And it, we made it funny. Hey, but the lads really said, so, I got an email. Did you see the email? The lads tried to explain what happened and he's very apologetic about Did what someone throw our, a drink over someone or something? played out. Basically, the lads were sat there. They're very much on board. They'll be watching this now. And someone went to them. Oi, shut the fuck up talking. And it wasn't them. And his mate is prone to being like, who the fuck are you talking about? So it, it there was a little bit of words and then his mate threw the drink. Uh -huh. And then that's that, that you have to go then. But he was very apologetic. Like he, it wasn't just some cunts who were like, I don't give a fuck. They do. It just kicked off and all of a sudden they, they'd been booted out. Jack it, Finnegan was there in a shot. Oh, yeah, all the staff just trotted around. No, like, all the staff just watched and went, ah. No they, no, they moved past, because we were stood at the back. They all moved past, like, oh, there's a fight. And I watched them, and they sort of congregated near it <laughs> and let Jack Finnegan go in, like the BFG, and fucking <laughs> snatch someone. <laughs> what a load of shit. Um, it was a very special night, and, like, the pictures look great, and it's uh, just doing that venue. It's just insane. And I can't it's, wait to do it again. It's a great show. Fucking brilliant show. It's a very um it's very impressive stand-up some of it. I think you've got one of my favorite bits of stand-up in it. The anxiety the, bit. Oh, it's so wonderful. And I wish I'd watched it in that, that watch that bit in the crowd, but me, all of us were like four or five rows back, weren't yeah, we? We were yeah. sat in off, Just, off struggle to watch comedy four or five rows back in a, in a venue that big. I'm like, I'm not used to this. Yeah. It feels so much more natural to watch it at the back. Um, it's a brilliant show. It's gonna. I think it's gonna look incredible when it's filmed and on, on on YouTube or wherever it ends up. I think it's fascinating. Really honest, open with some huge fucking laughs. I just I, I wanted this show to be a lot more personal than the stuff I've done before because I feel like it's quite interesting. Really juicy uh, as a special is one long story, but people said they sort of got to know more of me from that show. And then we've been so open and honest on this and people feel like they get more of us from this. But I don't think I've ever done that in in stand-up before and really given a, a sort of a bit of me away. So, uh, and because I hadn't done that in any of the other specials, Club Comic is now at a, well, 40 minutes of club comedy. Imperious is all outward. It's all about other people and not, none of it's about me. Juicy is one story, one thing happened, here's what happened. 
This, I just wanted it all to be inward, and I think I've got pretty close. There's some real vulnerability in it, isn't it? Can like I be to... honest? So, seeing Ju Juicy is now my favourite way of you doing comedy. Yeah. Now I've seen all, now I've seen Infamous, What's Wrong With Me and Juicy. When I compare them, all three, that's my favourite way of watching you do comedy. Juicy? Yeah. Yeah, well, that it, it, the interesting thing with it is I had so many messages after Juicy, which were, when are you going to do something like this again? Because this is what... I want from you. And it was thousands of messages. That's not hyperbole. Thousands of people going, do more of this. And with this show, I've tried to, I've tried to do like a combination of. This is more like Juicy than it is Imperious. I yeah, think. yeah, totally. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it, it, that second half is, there was points where I was like, you really, t t you, you're going, telling the story and really like it's, honest, open, interesting points. You're not rushing to a punchline no. like most comics would, like I fucking would. It's it's that's a bit more like juicy than it is imperious. Well I'm 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 glad to hear that. Um because that is definitely what we're aiming towards. I want it to be juicified rather than another juicy. For something to be like juicy again, it has to have so much to it. And I think I've had an idea for another juicy like show like in the past few days, I've been thinking about what I want to do next. I actually think it's possible. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to plan too far ahead, but in my head, this tour finishes in May. And if there's a couple of international dates afterwards, let's say it finishes July. I am, um, I think I'm going to go back to clubs for 18 months before I tour again. And I think my next special might be club comic too. I want to go back and learn how to be a club comic again. Cause I don't feel as good as I once was in a club. <laughs> yeah. Um definitely. And you do I, lose that you do lose a little bit of, yeah, to take, be good at the long yeah. form stuff. It'll take you a month to get back. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to take you long. No. Um so I think that might be that but I, then after I don't know what I want to do next. I don't know when I want to do a big tour again and I don't know what I want the next show to look like. But I've had an idea for something that would be juicy esque and I also think it's possible I could work on this new idea whilst doing clubs and have them be completely separate projects and separate them from each other um yeah i've, I've had an idea um it's nice isn't it it's nice to get i mean you're not at the end but you've still got a, a whole chunk but i'm actually only about like, halfway through yeah. which is mental <laughs> <laughs> to go i'm gonna have a little gear gear shift here and, and do something different but I'm not finished with this one yet. It's it's a very good show at the minute, but it's not done. There's some creases that need ironing and uh, I've got until March when we film it. And then May is the last uh, the last UK date at least. So a little bit of time, but thank you to everyone who came to the first leg of the tour uh, from October through to, well, September, I suppose, if you count the Europe ones. September through till now. It's uh, it's been absolutely unbelievable. Some of some genuine bucket list venues. The Apollo means so much to me as a venue, and the fact that I've got to do it and have all of you there and other people there who mean a lot to me was was really great. And I'm very 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 excited. And now I, I work in sort of like uh, focus points in terms of dates. So I, like building up to the Apollo, I was like, I need the show to be a good version of itself by the Apollo. The show's in the build-up to it. Not that they didn't matter, but we're all leading towards the Apollo. And now it's the Empire. And then after the Empire's done, it'll be the arena. But the next step is to get this show ready to be filmed. And what me and Alfie have done, by the way, Alfie Brown, I, I know I talk about him a lot. Um, not only one of my best mates, and we get like closer by the week at the minute. Um, not only is he one of my favorite comedians, and he's just so good at directing. And he had this idea a while back. What he said was, there's a lot of laughs that stand-ups only get in the room. He's like, there's, when you watch a stand-up special and the audience are clapping and laughing and you're just sat on your couch going, that wasn't my favorite bit. He's like, that's because the momentum of a room and the energy of a room can get you laughs in places that the jokes don't really deserve. Yeah. And he said, can we film the Apollo as if we're filming the special? just from similar camera angles to the ones we're going to use in the Empire, or at least several, just not just like one camera. And let's watch it as if that's the special and see which bits are only getting laughs in the room and not on the screen. Fascinating. So that's why we had five cameras in there on Saturday, and that was 
for this. So before we start the tour again on the 18th of January, me and Alfie are going to watch the Apollo as if that's the finished special. And to see, go, this works, that doesn't. And see which jokes don't actually belong in it. That's um, how you make a fucking good special. There's a lot of work. There's more. Th this is this is the honest truth. Um, not to keep wanking myself off, but the reaction to Juicy was so unbelievable. And I know, it. I knew before I even started working on this show that it was going to be very difficult to top Juicy because of what Carl's just said. Because of what it is and how it stands alone and it's it's one story and, you know, people gave a shit about the story. It was always going to be hard for this to be better. So to try and equalize that and bring it close to it, we're just putting more effort in. So that's why Alfie is directing at every single tour show. He watches every show and gives me notes off it because that's the only way to get it even as close to Juicy as possible. And before we film this, we're filming it. We've already filmed this so that we can watch it and change it. And like, if if the Manchester Apollo the other night was the night where we go, right, we're filming the special. I'd have been very happy with that show to be the finished special. It was good enough for that. But is it good enough for it to be the finished special and to be the special that I've released that follows Juicy? I don't know. Talking yet, about legacy it. and yeah, I want it. I want it to be really, really good. So there's so much more effort and attention to detail going into this one than anything I've ever done before, because it requires it because of the work that's gone before, and that's down to Alfie's insight going. We're doing it this way, um, and I'm very lucky to have him involved. And I've already told him I'm never doing an hour of stand up without him involved again. And he has to just write off years of his life to direct <laughs> me rather than do his own stuff. There you go. Should we have a break? Yeah. yeah. What's happening, Lids? Time to tell you about our OG, our absolute favorite sponsor, manscaped.com, with the promo code WEIRD20. You get 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Now listen, Christmas is coming up. Who wants a hairy sack at Christmas? Even Santa doesn't have a hairy sack. He's got a hairy face. His sack is full of presents. And that's what my sack's full of. Come for women. Yes, me! Who do you need to shave this Christmas? Your Mars Biff? You never know. But with Manscaped, mm, you've got the best pube shaving kit in the game. The Law Mower 5.0 is now out. It's one. part of this oh, massive sweet. package where you get the crop preserver, the crop soother. It's basically just snip. a bit of cream for your pubes, you know what I mean? There's the weed whacker. Put this up your arsehole, up your nose, trim the ears. Who wants a hairy arsehole? No, you need this to get in there. Sort it out, okay? Yeah. Go to manscaped.com. Promo code is weird, 20. 20% 20 off the best products for below the belt grooming for men or for women, you know, or trans. Christmas. Christmas is coming. <laughs> Christmas is coming. This is the best package you could give to your hairy relative. Sort them out. Christmas is coming. Your mouth's best getting fat. Shave, Look at me out. Shave it. Bars. <laughs> I've had a second coffee. I'm ready to fight. Huss! Who do you have in the fight, genuinely? Adam. Because like <laughs> he's mean. It's horrible. He's got that killer instinct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then what happens if your fatherly instinct kicked in? and My fatherly to, instinct, and I just, to, I just put him on my it. nipple and <laughs> no. suckled. No, he was going for Etta. If Adam was trying to <laughs> hurt my daughter... No, I'm not going to hurt her. Just doing something he didn't want him to do. And I, am I, have I got weapons? The only other thing that that could be is so much worse than trying to no, punch her. No, <laughs> Uncle Adam's a no, pedo. No, let's not do that. No. <laughs> I meant, like, you know, give it a substance you don't want it to have, like a balloon or something. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying You're to tracking not... back from Peter Far. I, yeah, I was never going there. You went there. No, I you thought... went there. No, oh. I promise I never. Car. I promise I wasn't going there. Car. You went we there. We had it. We all had it. What if Adam was trying to hurt Etta? That's or awful. Give her a substance that she's not allowed. <laughs> you know, Skittle. sugar before bed. Yeah, I imagine it was 9 p.m. and Adam's going to give it a big bag of Skittles. Oh, yeah, I'd stab him in the eyes. I just, <laughs> we'd have a serious chat. If we're doing. No, but Adam squares up. Oh, Adam squares up. Like Adam, I squared up like for the this. last time. <laughs> Face wide open. Come on, <laughs> for the last time. Stop coming around the other bedtime with sweeties. <laughs> now we have to fight. Should have done this on pads. No, Adam's trying to hurt Adam. Then, like, but kicking this in the feet. Awful, awful. I think the only person in this building that I wouldn't want to fight is Jack. You wouldn't beat Jack. I know. No, hang on. But I would still no, fight him. But Adam, you don't Got want. Pride. But you don't want to fight any of us, do you? No, I don't want to. But if I had to. <laughs> Yeah, but if you had to fight Jack, floor, mate. if you if you had to fight you. Jack, <laughs> if you had to fight Jack, yeah, because when you're if he really like landed one and yeah. you felt some sense of injustice, I think you're a rabid dog when you lose your temper. No, I think you. I, go I for do it. fight like I wouldn't bite. Bars, you fight fair. I fight fair. Do you know what I mean? It's man on man, man to man. Skin I, on skin. Man on man. Man on man. man on. That's you gay, isn't it? You know, <laughs> men on men. It's all Don't just you fight fair if you lose the fight? Like, I've lost fights before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah I've yeah. lost a few, but I've won more. 
There? Yeah. I've got, a, I've got a winning what, record. What's your record, do you think? <laughs> I'm going to say five uh, and two. Eight and two. I've had more than seven. Oh, he's had more than seven. I'm he's had at least 12. 11 and six. 11 and no, six. I think I've a, 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 you'd be happy with that at the end of the season. One, two. I've lost three. Buckle my shoe. I remember them. <laughs> You've lost three? Yeah. Lost one to Tom Simpson. Oh, I don't want no more. Remember that? He's the a boxer. Simpo. The simpo. He's, a, he's a boxer for the Navy. So I mean, you know what? <laughs> I'll take that. By the way, that sounds made up. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. No, he's a kickboxer I'm for Halford. I'm pretty sure he, he listens occasionally. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he does karate at the library. So... <laughs> He fucking chops through books. Yeah, go on. <laughs> he boxes for the Navy at the big... No, he is a... He, at the uh, Navy Boxing Championship. A, I'm at sorry, sea. Be you haven't been to them because they're at sea. <laughs> all the ships from all the different navies go, well, let's not throw any torpedoes in the water. Let's get Tom Simpson to box someone. Yevgeny from the Russian Navy. Yeah. Great, but you it can't see it. Well, yeah. he's a fo I, I, I'm sure he was professional at one point, or at least semi. So. And then he's gone back to the Navy. Yeah, that sounds right as I well, doesn't it? I think he joined the Navy and there's boxing in the Navy. Yeah, he joined the Navy, boxing in the Navy. Then he turned pro and then he was like, ah, I don't like the money. I just like boxing on helipads on, uh, you know, aircraft carriers. So that's where he's back. He's back now. <laughs> he's, better. <laughs> he's better on water. Who was the second one? Uh, lost me first fight to Josh. He's, he, I mean, he's at the height, he's got the reach. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's a big yeah. boy. But then yeah. the second one, because I had two fights with just the second one sort of was separated. It and went it, the distance, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was TKO, but, it, but you think you could have had it. Well, I don't know that I've told you the story before. What happened was we were in maths class, right? Oh, God, it's your favourite class. Yeah. And I was sat next to Josh because me and Josh were the two best at maths in the school, in our year, at yeah. least. I so they were like pole position first. And so yeah. I'm sat where you are, Josh is here. Yeah. And um, I was playing with my water bottle, just like like faffing it about, right. and a bit went on his side of the desk. <laughs> what? So, Which is essentially finding a nuclear weapon, isn't it? So he got his water and just like you know, like one of those squirty tops. Yeah. He just squares me with it. I mean, fucking dickhead, like that. So act of war ne on the next table, Mark Dowling, <laughs> who was a mutual friend and chaos sorcerer the of the biggest, school, the biggest shits there. Joe, one of these chaos Lad, sorcerer. You, yeah, did he just said? And he go, I'm not saying nothing, lad. Yeah. It right, yeah. started and go, bye. He gave me a Lucas... So bag. Josh squared to me with water and then went to the bin at the front of the class to sharpen his pencil into the bin, right? And as he walked up, Mark gave me a Lucas Aid sport and said, go and empty that on Josh's head. That's like the Cuban Missile Crisis. Right. <laughs> so I so I did this it. This kid's the Don King of fucking maths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, he's just squared to me with water. I didn't mean to spill a little tiny bit on yeah, his yeah, side. Josh, there's a knife. End it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I went to the front of the class and just emptied a full bottle of Lucas Aid Sports on Josh's head. And he turned around and he hit me with the, the part. Like, he hit me with that. Like, he turned around and he went, they fuck them. off. Who's I, Josh? I Bruce Lee? Them. What are we doing? <laughs> bah! But then, so we just start, like, swinging. Like, we're both hitting each other. Where's the teacher? Watching. So, what was her name? The Mr. little Rems. weedy one with the blonde hair with the oh, glasses. Oh, Pearson. No, that was, she was the old one, wasn't she? Yeah. No, it wasn't her. It was the young blonde one. Oh, it wasn't a Renz, no? Yeah. Guys. Mr. Renz, maybe. Ah, yeah, good, cool, cool, cool. So <laughs> we're literally just swinging lumps out of each other. But Josh, as you know, is and always has been significantly taller than me. So <laughs> to stop him being able to swing, True. I grabbed him like by the top of his yeah, wing yeah. and threw him over a desk. And oh my God. And was just, <laughs> just like <laughs> swinging lumps at him like that. Yeah, yeah. But then she got in the middle. Oh, so like this in that fit, gap, mate. she got in. She was like, stop it! she was like Herb stop Dean. She was far too late. Was everyone wanking? Oh god! <laughs> but like we we took some fucking lumps out of each other in that fight, like, and then. So you're taking it as a loss, but it could have. No, 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 no. no. I'm no, taking no. that as like a stalemate. Really, that was a draw. Right, and the third loss was John Jones. <laughs> the third <laughs> loss was uh, a lad who I grew up with uh, called another Adam. Oh, that you could that couldn't stand. But like we we I reckon <laughs> I reckon me and him had maybe ten fights. Oh, legacy. And, and he won one. Adam's Potan, he's Adesanya, he's fucking, you know, he's up. He's three one up. Who? Potan and Adesanya? Alex Pereira's Potan is. Potan. Oh yeah, because I, I thought I, I know him by the um his, I was I was nine nickname. and one against Adam, I think. Catholic name. Big Ali Pally. <laughs> Dan, what's your record in fights? What's my record in fights? 0-1, out of the game. <laughs> got punched in the head in 1995. It hurt like fuck. I haven't punched anyone since. That's not a fight if you just get punched once. Uh, it is a fight. It is. Did you I fight was back? in it. I tried, but it, oh. uh, my head hurt too much. No, so the, I'll talk you through <laughs> the fight. Get punched in the face is horrible, by a the guy, way. A guy took my Charlotte Hornets baseball cap off. I suppose Elliot's the only four. No, that doesn't no. count. That's for charity. 
He ran off. I chased after him. That was my first mistake. And I went, oi, give him my fucking hat back. Swore, just to let him know Ooh. what's up. Uh, he, I got the hat back. I was walking off, turned to my mate Fraser. I was like, that's about to kick off, on it? And he was like, yeah, let's leave it. Let's go to Games Workshop for all the puss puss. And then <laughs> the lads walked out of the exit one way, came back the other entrance. This is the St. George's Shopping Center in Preston and just fucking lamped me. So I turned around uh, and then he punched me in the back of the head and I lay down. And then a woman who was uh, <laughs> shopping stood over me, swung a handbag at the lads and went, run for the first bus home, love. And I did. So that Back of the head, by the way, he's disqualified. You have won that? Yeah. Thank You're, you very you much. Won yeah, it felt like that. You're won now. Morally. I didn't go back into town for about 18 months after that. <laughs> when it's me and Josh had that scared. second fight, we got both got suspended for a week. And then when we come back into school after a week, for a month, one of us had to leave school half an hour before the other one. So like it would alternate on days. Like Monday, I'd have to leave school at half two and he'd get off at three. And then the next day we'd swap that round. So that we and you are best friends now. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> right. Was there just a bad period there where you? Well, no. How did you work it out? Do you, do you know what it is? It's just we're both like strong personalities who In, independent black women. Yeah. But like if <laughs> it, it's it's like the thing I don't want to fight any of you and I definitely don't want to fight Jack. But if Jack wants me to fight, I wouldn't say no because I've got too much like no fuck you. I'd say and, it no. was, and it's the same as back then. Do you know what I mean? If Jack wants my art, you can have it. I'll buy it anyway. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I just, you don't back down because then you look worse than if you lose. I'd rather lose the fight than lose face. Oh, I I don't just and back Josh down. And Josh is the same. I don't just back <laughs> down, I lie down. That's my tactics. You won that fight? Mm, you did? I back think, of the edge disqualification? Yeah. It was intentional as well? Didn't feel like I'd won. I kept the cap though, so. You've won? Yeah. And I had a fight with my mate Sean, but that was a, that was a draw because nothing happened. We literally swung at each other for a minute and then stopped and nothing had happened. Pathetic. Never had a fight. In my end, I was like, I'm landing I fucking punch somebody. absolute haymakers. Punch somebody, but that I've is never it. Had a fight. That's a fight. What do you mean? That's a fight. Well, I'm one and all then. All right, so you're just a bully. <laughs> How do you mean you've punched someone? Well, he tried to hit me, and I like, I'm not a fighter or a boxer, but I moved like fucking Pacquiao or Mayweather, either one. <laughs> on. Ducked it, and I hit him on the chin, and then I like, I like sat on him to calm him down because he was upset. <laughs> Carl, you're not, describe, you're not ours. describing it like a fight, but it absolutely is a fight. He came back to ours and had toasties and played FIFA. It was sick. Basically. Oh, who was this? We were playing, oh, name him. We were playing footy on the Rosies by ours. And I just volleyed this ball away for some reason. And he went, go and get the ball. I went, no. He went, my granddad died like five years ago today. <laughs> and I went, so? Have you seen, have you seen the in between his video? He says, that's not relevant. Yeah. I was like, I didn't really give a fuck. And then he got dead angry and upset and tried to hit me. But I fucking pinged him on the chin. I'm on the floor. I didn't, I wasn't, didn't want to fight. And I was like, like, calm down. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, but Carl, you did fight. That's not a fight to me. He, hang on. He tried so to, he tried to punch him. And you, you punched him. And then you sat on him in a, like, and ended the fight. Okay. I'm one another. Yeah. That is definitely a fight. I don't think it is. So what, what makes a fight a fight? Like multiple blows landed and thrown. One punch isn't a fight. So did McGregor not fight Jose Aldo? No, because Aldo landed a punch on him. Hmm. In fact, the fight you described sounded like Aldo McGregor. He went no, for a punch. No, you Aldo, Aldo, Aldo so did Ben Askren not fight Masvidal? No, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> ben Askren put his shorts on and they got kneed in the head and went to hospital. That's not a fight. It is a fight. It isn't. He won the fight. He didn't. He just kneed him in the head. <laughs> and that... Oh, you picked a stupid hill to die on today. That's not a... I, I, okay, then I did win, but I didn't think it was a fight. And have you never had a fight since? No, people love me. Apart from pinning that woman up against the wall in hot water. I battered her down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I fucking battered her. Like, that wasn't a fight. That break was both bullying. Of, that was break yeah. both of her legs. Ableism. I, I said, you're like my Ben Askren, and then just, wah. <laughs> you ever had a fight, Finn? Uh, oh, God, here no. we go. <laughs> 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 here we go. Real. Real in the late 90s, early noise. <laughs> I fought with my brother a few times. Oh, that, that doesn't, doesn't that doesn't count. count. But then the nearest I've got is the real civil war. I've been <laughs> with in Turkey with nunchucks. I've been punched, but not like it wasn't a good punch. The guy was massive. He was like six three. Oh, of course he was. <laughs> he was from yeah, six yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even hear. Should have seen the should have seen the state of it. No, it was about so it was pathetic. Really, we were playing footy. It was a it was a match. We we're playing at that stadium. Stadium we went to in Real. Um, oh, the real stadium. Yeah, yeah, Bel yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the Malacan Art, isn't it? Bellevue. Beautiful. It's the Malacan Art of North Wales. We were playing on there, and there was this striker who's being a gimp. He pushed my friend 
So I he pushed my friend, <laughs> Michael Owen here. <laughs> he pushed my friend, so I pushed him. It was playing and his friend. It was playing so right I, wing, I but he had his, his <laughs> he had his Lego out and he pushed him. <laughs> he pushed my. Friend. That is what Etta would say when she came home from nursery. <laughs> and then he pushed my friend, and then I lost my telephone. <laughs> he pushed my mate. He fucking came. So I pushed him back. But so I didn't push him very hard. He <laughs> fell over, but then got. Ben, up. you're not in trouble. Just I know, I know, I know. He got. He got <laughs> I he, pushed him back, Dad, but it wasn't very hard. <laughs> <laughs> he fell over. I literally like hardly shoved him, and he fell over. Then he got up and he started squaring up, and then he threw a punch, but he kind of like missed. He was kind of like that, so he kind of like slapped me in the eye. And then uh, it was all like, I'll fucking get you in the car park. Wait, I had to stay behind in the changing rooms. They wouldn't let me out. Wow. You were that trying to get out. You're like, let that me guy's out. now in prison let for me stabbing out. Let me his missus. my friend. What? <laughs> what? Say that again. I was doing jokes. That guy's now in prison for stabbing his missus. Oh, wow. Because she pushed, you? She pushed so, his friend. Sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, two seconds. <laughs> I, I knew it would end sad. <laughs> I knew it would end sad. I was like, oh, this is really more playful than Rills. Oh, there you Did go. Did he murder it? Or was she no, just like, she was all right, but he no, stabbed No, it was just, a st yeah. she survived it. She's a yeah. Welsh woman. <laughs> God. Good, 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 uh, good story time, Finn. Thank you. Yeah, if not, you'd have knocked him out, you might have brought him down a peck and she wouldn't have got stabbed. Yeah. Mm. So blame right. yourself for that. It was my fault. And you? I stabbed a woman. By proxy, yeah. yeah. By proxy. Vicariously. Should we do some questions? Yeah, good save. <laughs> uh, this is from Alex Smith, this first one. Uh, question, if you... Oh, sorry. Well, it's time for everyone's favourite section. Question. Uh, Finn, have you got a few? Questions. Because, honestly, people have been sending in a lot of... Questions. And, you know, I woke up this morning... It makes me feel sick. It's mine. I woke up this morning and I was thinking, you know what my favourite bit of today's show will be? Advice? No. Question. Oh, wrong button. Turkish? No. <laughs> sorry. Oh, question. Oh, um, confession. <laughs> I just want loads of questions. <laughs> question, question, question. There you go, I nailed it. <laughs> this first one is from Alex Smith. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. Why are you saying it like... Oh, they've started with question. Uh, if you were to have a clone and were to have sex with that clone, Do is it. it sex or masturbation since it's with yourself? Additionally, how would you woo your clone into bed? It's not masturbation, is it? It's definitely not masturbation. Yeah, if you wank your twin off. It's not you wanking yourself off. It's dead you? gay though. <laughs> Hang on, if you're gay, just because you... it's you, just because yeah, it's, it's a you, up. it's so. You Hang know. on, is it illegal to bum your own clone? <laughs> I don't think there's laws written about it, you know, because cloning hasn't been perfected yet, Carl. How do you know? Look at China. There's loads of them. You haven't asked why. Okay, so let's focus on the second. And they all look similar. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to? I mean, no you comment. you might want to have a threesome with your clone to be like, yeah, me, let's go double teaming. That'd be fun. But they'd know exactly what you like. Yeah, just say you're a game of Hang on. Yeah, I'm not fucking Unless me. Unless you don't really know yourself yet and you don't know what you like. Oh, but it's, it's Sometimes not... I get surprised, you know. Well, by yourself sucking yourself off? No, 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 I've never done that, Dan. <laughs> Adam. What wait, I mean is Adam. sometimes <laughs> I'm in the bedroom and someone does something and then I go, oh, didn't know I like that. And then I do. So sometimes, you know, you wouldn't know. Yeah, what? Okay, so what know? if she was like, no, hang on. It's still, if it's you, it's you're not, it's Clones not going to be arousing. Your mind, don't they? <laughs> it's not going to be arousing. It's not going to be arousing. It's just you. Yeah, but what I, do you mean, not going to be arousing? Well, he, he, do you not want to fuck yourself? It's Dan, have feel... you ever tried to suck yourself off? I haven't got, what? Well, I can't even do press ups. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. You have no, to have it's... a fairly big dick to suck yourself off, I think. Yeah, he's always yeah, doing Dan, it. Yeah, Dan, if your clone. It's a miracle offers... he's here this morning. <laughs> If your clone offered to suck you off, would you say yeah? No. I don't want to get sucked off by a man. Otherwise, I'd be getting it done all the time, wouldn't I? It's just going to be like fucking your twin, though, isn't it? I know it's not your twin, but it, it is going to just feel like another dude. You're not... Do you know what I mean? Okay, right. Let's focus on the second half of the question, then. How would you woo your clone into bed? How would you think you'd want to be seduced? <laughs> just put a French maid's outfit on. Oh, so you're, oh, you're, you're in a French out. maid's outfit. Would you be attracted by uh, you in a French maid's outfit? It's gonna look that's a good point. Bad. No offense, mate. I know you're confident, but I don't think you can pull it off. Of course I'd fuck me in a French maid's outfit. <laughs> yeah. Madam Row. I think I don't know. I don't think I can woo me into bed. I'm a man. I don't want to fuck men. Or I'd be doing it. Or so here you go. 
on a caveat on Alex's question, if you could clone yourself, would you double team a lady? Would you be like, oi, other Adam? Let's go to let's go I, to I don't I don't know because it's not me, is it? It is like once like from the second the clone is cloned, they are then a new person. It is just a twin. Like you're identical at the moment of cloning, but twenty seconds after that, you're different people. Yeah, different yeah, emotions, yeah, yeah. different atom. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Can you change the settings and make them smaller? Because if if so, I want seven clones, and I want to see Laura bang the dwarves. I want seven little clones. Seven little clones. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> right, It'd be me. She was like. What happens if you cloned a female version of yourself? Oh, then yeah. Would you shag that? Yeah, no, it's because yeah. it's just, just it's gonna feel like shagging your sister, isn't it? No, no, not what? Oh. Why would it? Because it... I haven't got a sister Same. that I know of. But you have, but you know. well, I have got a sister, but I don't know her. Saying that's all right. Well, I don't know her. I mean, you've got a sister you know of. You just don't know her. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. Okay, cool. Have I? Isn't that fun? What? I've, got, I've got a half Spanish brother and sister. What? Yeah. No, they're full Spanish, aren't they? They're, they're full Spanish. Yeah, yeah. they're a half brother and sister. They're half brother, not half brother, half sister. Like one person. <laughs> my half. You actually don't know if they're full Spanish. You just know that they exist. Hang on, what's happening? My father. You know, the, Carl's Alpha. The Spanish man has two kids. Miguel. I thought you didn't know who he was. I spoke to him about it. I do you know. I, I would know what. When's this? I don't know who he is, but I I know, we have talked about this. He's got his name. Yeah. He knows his, his name. name. And I know he's got two kids. That's yeah. why it didn't work oh, with him. But for all you know, Shit. those kids are not by another Spanish woman. You don't know oh, that yeah. level of detail. Yeah, they could be fucking Mexican or Brazilian. Well, or Carl, I didn't Nicaraguan. know. I've been to Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Honestly, guess that nationality that was going to come out of his house. Out of, out of his house? <laughs> out of his <laughs> fucking mouth. Who's that nationality come out of his Everyone's house? Everyone's had a stroke. I need a cold plunge. <clears throat> I honestly thought you didn't know. Yeah, I'm so half, Okay, half cool. Brother, half, half brother and sister. Who could be Spanish? Probably are Spanish. I think if you clone yourself in as a female version of it, I think it would w feel weirdly too familiar. It yeah. would feel weird, yeah, if you knew it was your clone. No, but, but if she you likes didn't all the know. things you do. What? She likes all the things you do. She's just like a fit version of you. Yeah, I, I think I'd be up, up for that. Yeah, flying. She can wear a French maid's outfit. Get it, you. <laughs> oh, she's massive as well. Yeah, she's six, six. She's a direct clone of Adam. She's can, six six. With clones, do they have to be identical? Or can you change the sizing? Can you, like, go... What is he with you and little clones? <laughs> I don't know. I'm interested by clones. I don't know the rules. And I don't think you do. They, they so take your DNA, it. so they're just you, aren't they? You can't change anything. Unless you're like, you can't, so you can't make a clone. You can't just shrink it. Go, I'll have a 60% clone. Yeah, you could just give it Siggy's when it grows up. And it'll no, 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 when no, it no, grows no, up. no, 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 Just give it a smaller test tube. How do you make a clone? Yeah. Talk me through clones. Is it like a big human photocopier? None of us, none of us work in cloning. Dolly the pig. She you don't work sheep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dolly the pig. Uh, welcome back to the podcast for morons. Um, no, hang on. So is it like a 3D printer? Essentially, Can, are, yeah. we, are we there yet? Y yeah, let's say Well, we if are. it's like a 3D printer clone thing, you can, you can definitely have a small one. But you can change the settings. Would you not want to send your full-size clone to like events you can't be arsed with? No, because you've got to trust them, haven't you? Well, it's just like sending. A, it's like buying a ticket for a mate. It's not because you what? you get all the credit from Laura. Oh, are they, going... they're going to work there. I thought you just meant send them to Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> like, how was it? And then other me's like Glass. <laughs> You tell me all about it. Yeah, we'll do. No, you I mean, you're just send you're trusting them, aren't you? You could like go to a web and Laura, they could make a show of you. Oh, would they, yeah? Why not? But then that no, they wouldn't do that, would they? Because then they, they everyone would think they did it as well. Yeah, yeah, but then you'd still look a show to look. This, Hang this on. new clone isn't like <laughs> I don't give a fuck about <laughs> social etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. He give a fuck how about does social how do you clone memories? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hard the, drives. The clone is gonna look exactly like you. But he's going to be no, like it's childlike. Got your, it's got your memories as well. Oh. They, in cloning films, they normally do, don't yeah. they? Oh, w would it not just be like a grown ass man baby who's like 42 year old Dumbo? He's like, what? Wah. 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 Ah. It's the same thing. You're food. like that most days. You were like that every day before you fucking cold plunged yourself. <laughs> Turn up, you're like, eh. Slam. <laughs> <laughs> it never, never come against the cold plunge. No, it's literally just like a carbon copy, like yeah. same memories, same clothes. Yeah, of course you can go to a wedding. Oh, who be wears? Be about the fucking class by the way yeah but you be wearing your rig outs that's all right yeah but I've then got... you can't wear them no it's all right we've got all the clothes you can go oh, lad you can bang laura today but tomorrow you've got to do my tax return it's like fair teamwork also do i have am i able to kill the clone when i'm done with him 
It is just men. Yeah, but it's a fight. You've got. To, like, you can't. You just got to fight. No, it. that's double Jeffrey. You can't. You can't make a clone, then kill it, and be like everyone's like, "You killed someone." No, I didn't. I you killed did. the three D photocopy of me. No, you no, it's a person. person. The yeah. second, like the what second, what a load of shit! It hasn't got a passport. I have. <laughs> it has. It's got your passport yeah. when you're not looking. No, well, I'm going to be very careful with my passport. <laughs> you should be. Yeah, it's important. N hang on. Who's got my? You know, passport? they are you. Yeah. Yeah, but then I can kill them. Yeah, but then they know where your passport is. They know could what you, move. Could you, know you kill? Like you? No, <laughs> they don't. If you clone them and it wanders off and you're like, just have a cup of, a cup of tea. I don't even like tea. Have a fucking sneak there, lad. And then I hide the passport. It doesn't know where the passport is at that it point. It knows where you'd hide it, though. Well, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Touche. Then I'd have to hide it somewhere. I wouldn't hide it. Yeah, but it's this no. is the stupidest conversation ever. <laughs> Let's get some edibles. <laughs> right, okay. I'd right. fuck my missus with a clone of me. 100%. Would you? Yeah. That's so no. lazy. Oh, it'd be great. Oh, with it. Sorry. You like a threesome at the same time, or are you just making it last longer so you go and then the? Clone I'd goes love afterwards. to do that. It's a three. I <laughs> just go in the toilet, yeah. Lord. You just do relays, <laughs> bumming all night. Would no. you not? No. Oh. Not me, missus. Oh, like a random eh? Oh, a randoma. Yeah. Yeah. Sing a little pull home from the club. Hey, there's two of us. Bang. <laughs> Whoa. But I can't watch. I know it's technically me, but I can't watch another man's cock go inside my woman's asshole, pussy, or face. What a lovely way of putting it. You're right. You're, you're, just you're like a romantic at heart, aren't I am. You? Call me old fashioned. <laughs> but like my granddad used to say to me, come and sit on my knee, Adam. Never let another man stick his dick in your girl's asshole. Pussy off me. <laughs> Ow. Dan, are you feeling a bit peckish? You hungry, no, Dan? not at all. I want to shag my missus with me. Dan versus food, baby. Oh, Dan versus food. Uh, sure. Shout out to Stacey from my uh, Adam, yeah. from my kids' nursery who is apparently enjoying watching <laughs> all of these. Is that a sheet of paper for me? Yeah. Uh, the gentleman who works in L once came off the other day and said he's enjoying these on TikTok too. Great. Well, hello, <coughs> gentlemen at L1. Well, this is the first time we've had cutlery. That's cheap cutlery, that. What the fuck's this? I don't know. Steve did it. Me. It's a description of what it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read this out. <laughs> I'm sure you Did you write this down? Right. So it's December. Steve, so we're doing have you Christmas been checked theme. for like mental illness? <laughs> Just out of interest. Because you introduce Dan versus. We can't hear Steve. Go on. Introduce Dan versus food. I can't, we're not doing. This is not a thing, by the way. This is the first and last time. This is stupid. <laughs> go on. Go on. You can't. We can't. They can't hear them. So it's Ready, just go, go, go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dan vs. Food. This is Dan Nightingale, 42-year-old man with food phobias, and every week we make him try food he's never tried before for your viewing pleasure. Um, or benefit. <laughs> for your benefit. Uh, this week we have got a festive bake, and it is made from a delicious crumb-topped pastry <laughs> filled with pieces of cooked chicken, as opposed to raw, sage and onion stuffing, oh. and cooked sweet cure bacon, oh. covered in a creamy oh, sage and cranberry sauce. Blood. It's a festive bake, baby. Oh. Is this from Greg's? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a famous Greg's. And it's like a thing people wait all no, year. No, I no, no, no. Fork. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this is. You're just making me have a fucking steak bake again. No, this no, is a, this is different. This is a festive bake, oh, baby. Oh lord! It's a Christmas dinner in pastry. Yeah, people wait all year for this. They're like, oh, yeah. people do, bake do they? Bad, they're well, bad games. Oh, they're they're bad people games need like. to sort their lives out. See? nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, bro. <laughs> okay, he's going knife and fork. Right. Make sure there's filling. Yeah, in that. make sure there's filling. Yeah, take that bit. Yeah. Where's the bin? Finn, get me a bin. This is gonna go really badly. I can see it and I can smell it. Oh, ugh. Dan, you like everything no, inside I, it? I don't like oh, stop making it smaller! All in, all in, baby. Mm -mm. That's just pastry, isn't it? No, it's just piss. <laughs> pastry. You're gonna like it. Don't shut go in up, thinking you you're gonna hate shut it. Shut up! All of you, shut up! Come on, it's nice. Open your mind and your mouth. Oh. Make like your man and swallow. Come on. <laughs> He's gone to Nero again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! So close. <laughs> oh. Cranberry's all right. 
Have another go. No! Fuck off. <laughs> Awful. Come you on. knew that was going to be a bad Come one. On. No. Have another go. No. You, you've got to tax you now. Why did I? Before, b before. Stop. Have another put go. It, put it go down. On, I'm not eating it again, bitch. Awful. Um, before, everyone was like, oh, lads, have you had a mince pie before? I was like, yeah. Why did I say yeah? Should have been like, oh, no, I don't trust them. Really bad. Why? Too, what was the what was the flavors? I don't know. Too many flavors. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Uh, it's very sagey, isn't it? It's so sage. It's What's sage? Is that stuff in? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two. Uh, awful. Christmassy. Compared to the other Greg's. Bad. If you remember back to terrible the first one. You're hiding things I don't like. <laughs> that's why I don't trust it. Chicken. This is hidden, hidden evil. Ah! Do you know? Oh, uh, sage and onion. Good God. <laughs> yeah. You like Adam, but the, the 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 feature isn't Adam versus food because otherwise you'd be like, yeah, it's good. This <laughs> it's not as good as the one I can make, <laughs> but it is good. <laughs> See you next time. No, oh, I like it. I know that's awful. Too many things <laughs> hidden. Don't trust it. Two out of ten at best. Have you changed your Christmas ways yet? Are you still a nacho man? Nacho, no, nacho, nacho man. man. Of course, I'm going to be a nacho man. It's my Christmas tradition. Nacho man, Randy Dan. <laughs> Merch. <laughs> Merch it. Um, yeah, awful. Didn't like it. You did it on purpose. And thanks for the big explanation, Steve, that made it worse. <laughs> uh, hated it. Bad. Fuck Christmas. There you go. Just the, so everything that people What's your associate... favourite Christmas? Sorry to interrupt. What's your favourite Christmas food? Like one that is, is festive like food. Twiglets. No, they don't count. Treeslets. They don't count. It's just a different they shape. Are... So, it's just a different shape. Of cheeselet. Carl, they absolutely I do. I love treeslet. Yeah, it's just I know. a different shape. Yeah, but it's made of Christmas trees. So give it me is Christmas. Give me a Christmas food. Come on. Mince pies. Mince pies are nice. You like mince pies? Yeah. But I don't I can't think of another. What's another? Go on, name me some Pigs Christmas food. Pigs in blankets. Sprouts. Do you know what? It's Pigs in blankets are oh, quite nice. I'll give you that. Yeah. Whoa. Of course not. No are. way. Oh, you crazy bastard. But I think it's just because I Controversial like... food opinion. Yeah. Sausages wrapped in bacon. Nice. <laughs> it's a bit busy though, isn't it? That's two of the same item, just in No, shape. hang on. Sausages taste different from bacon. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Pig wrapped in pig. Um, go on, talk me through some others. I'll let you know what I think. Think, can you Google some festive food? Turkey. Turkey. Turkey, do you like turkey? Awful dry no, chicken. No, you've never had a good turkey, then it shouldn't be dry. Oh yeah, sorry, because that's why Nando's don't do turkey. I don't fucking uh, shit. Uh, shit. If you let me put peri-peri sauce on turkey, I probably think it's sound. Yorkshire I don't like buttons. dry chicken. Oh, oh, Yorkshire it's just oh. bread cake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Christmas, Christmas you're, pudding. You're, so if you took me to Nando's, right, and you got everything that's in a chicken wrap. Why is everything compared to Nando's? Because it's what I like it. If you put that in a pudding, a Yorkshire pudding, I'll smash it. Mm. If you put cheese in a Yorkshire pudding, yeah, it's nice. No. It but I don't be, like all the Christmas giving. mush that they put on Yorkshire puddings. Or gravy. Okay. Yeah, what about Christmas pudding? What's that? It's basically just like the inside of a mince pie, isn't it? But big. Like a big fruit cake. Christmas. Oh, 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 Christmas cake. You cover it in whiskey and set it on fire. Right. I missed it. I missed that. Oh, well. we miss it? It, <coughs> was it, it was probably heavy as well. He's laughing. Probably it. It cut out. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a homophobic joke. Ah, I'm with you. At Elton John's expense. Oh. Uh, um, uh, Christmas cake. <laughs> Is that Christmas cake, basically? Christmas pudding. Christmas pud pudding, it's called. The one that they set fire Give to. Give me a uh, pud Yeah, it's just bad cake, isn't it? Wallop. I mean, don't... Am I wrong? Parsnips. Oh, my God. I love parsnips. Black For chips. breakfast. Black what are you chips. on about? They're, 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 they're passable. They're not good, are they? What about like mint sauce? On what? Lamb. Lamb. Oh, yeah. Not, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Oh, Stuffing. Yeah. Is that that sagey shit? Yeah. What, what? No. Where am I having that? No. Are you into the, uh, the charcuterie board? Yeah, I'm into the, the few things that I like off it. Eggnog. <laughs> oh, that might be Watch one to your try. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what is eggnog? A drink. Uh, it's a brandy based cocky tail. Ah, give it a go. What's that banana one that everyone whips banana. out? At Yazoo. <laughs> <laughs> I like Yazoo. What's that banana one? What's, the banana, <laughs> what's, the, what's the banana booze? <laughs> I love a yop. <laughs> what's the banana booze? <laughs> Banana, banana booze. The banana booze, the yellow one that everyone gets out. Of, I want to say Amrabat, but he used to play for. He plays for United now. Banana booze at Christmas. What are you talking about? What's um, what's the banana booze mean, for? Do you mean banana liqueur? Yeah. Oh, balls. No, that's not a drink. It's not, what's it called? It just yeah, it just says banana liqueur. 
Oh, I thought there was a brand, what, brand for it. What goes on in your family? Oh, okay. oh it's three o'clock. Get the banana booze out. The, Come on. Get the Let's balls all have a drink. That's what? What, that's what we do at Christmas. I want to get anything in lemonade, please. <laughs> um, Dan, do you like Baileys? Yeah, it's all right. I'm... Oh, you're wrong. What do you mean? Is this snow? Are you thinking of a snowball? Isn't that when you come in a girl's mouth and she kisses you? Yeah, that's what we do at Christmas <laughs> as well. <laughs> we do nachos, yazoos, and snowballs. Oh, Advocat. Dick Advocat. There you go. I didn't mind Amrabat. Yeah, Advocat. Advocat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Snowball. Yeah, snowball, yeah. So I was right, though, innit? That is what you call it when you come in a girl's mouth and then she next you. Uh, urban Dictionary, yeah. She so goes, you want to get snowballed? And you go, go on. Finn's Google searches are wild. Yep. <laughs> well, yep. <laughs> Truly dreadful. Hated it. Don't do that again. Can Thank you Google you. alligator fuckhouse? No. What? <laughs> Should I have a break? Yeah. I really want to. Yeah. I want proper food. No. Now then, ladies and gents, time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's NordVPN. It's crazy that they're your favourite because when we first had these as a sponsor, you didn't even really know what a VPN was. <laughs> I'll be honest, and it seems like I'm doing it for a bit. But I'm not. At my age, you do get dementia. So what is a VPN? NordVPN, and if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, oh, you? Uh, you would get four bonus months on top of the two-year plan. And that's on all of the plans that they sell. For right? what? For what? But what is a, it? a VPN is essentially a way to up your internet security. And also you can set your location to anywhere in the world. You can watch Mozambique and Netflix if you want. Oh. You can watch the, the Rugby World Cup live from Tasmania. <laughs> Whatever you want, that. mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, NordVPN.com slash have a word. It's uh, you. You need a VPN. It's so much better for your computer, and you literally open up like catalogs uh, of, of libraries um, from all over the world for yeah. films. Uh, who TV wants shows? malware? No, you know, oh, it's awful. What a bit of malware. Awful. Your malware. Mozambique and Netflix, and it'd be nice for me because I'd be watching watch... the same Netflix as Laura. And you can watch the Premier League. <laughs> you can watch the Premier League kickoffs even when they're not on British TV, and it really helps. What? NordVPN.com slash Bavlige. Have a word. I'm really not on form today. No. Scraping the bottom of the barrel for energy, enthusiasm. Sick of all of you lot. It's good to be here, though. It's good you'll be going to Vegas for a bit then. Recharge yeah. your batteries. Laura Smith's here. <laughs> hey. Hey. How are we, Laura? Hey. Hey. Very good, very good. Good journey? Very good journey, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got, and then I got an early train, went straight into Spoons. You went to Weatherspoons? Yeah. You can't be going to Weatherspoons, mate. They're a bad company, the guy who oh, runs I it. I know, I know. It's immoral. It's What's immoral, happened? Yeah. But I feel like that's how you get to know a place, didn't you? People are still selling car car stereos in Liverpool Spoons. It's oh, really? Like what? <laughs> you can't open with that, mate. You can't have a no, go my saw, no, about stupid th names joke before. There were about three or four people in there selling yeah. stuff out of a bag. Meat. Usually yeah. meat. It was quite a nice weather space. It was like a bit of an old people's home vibes. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's getting their lunch. Did you go to the one on the corner opposite the train station? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's... the train station spoons. The big yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. By, by the blob shop. That's a mad one. Someone though. was selling fags on the street. Did you see on the way uh, on the way back from Nando's? You can't do that. You can't do that. Selling cigarettes, Carl, oh. on the way back from the uh, on the, from Nando's. But they had like they had they were like silver packaging. How old are they? That's it. Wow, what? I missed that. Well, I thought Meaning all, not like uh, they not all the a, sort of like Albanian army green with like just warnings and p sad pictures. It actually had like branding. Is that mm. just for is that just foreign? Is that is the carton foreign coloured? Mock that. <laughs> is the carton coloured or do you mean the actual package? The carton was coloured, yeah. Yeah, I think the cartons are still coloured. Oh, it's just it? okay. It's just a foreign cigarette. Yeah, it was a camel. Yeah, about eighty. <laughs> you know, I'm like very suggestible. I had a cigarette the other night. Oh, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. what? Just put it in my mouth. And then throw it on the floor. You just put the whole thing in your mouth. I just like it. a fucking magician. I asked a ciggy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Weird Small. night. Yeah. <laughs> maybe why you're feeling a bit off. I, I do feel just a bit, I think, I don't know. I don't know whether it's end, like end of tour first leg slump or... Have you got sad? What? Adele's got sad, hasn't she? Seen She's that? always been sad, listening to her music for no, you. she said she can't live in the UK because she gets seasonal affective disorder. Oh, really? So Where does she, she live then? Like the Bahamas or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She lives she in gets LA, like she? Are you better in the summer or the winter? Uh, sort of fairly even the whole way. I like the summer. I like, I like all Christmas and all that. I like all the festivities. Yeah, but Christmas is the thing that saves winter, isn't yeah. it? It's the, yeah, it's January like, it gets February, right yeah. into the deepest bit of it. We're like, oh my God, there's like four and a half hours of sunlight. 
It's fucking cold. Love it. It's all a bit miserable. And then basically they go, here's a little treat. You can have like basically yeah. five days off work and a lot of, load of piss ups. But yeah. Christmas here's, presents. Here's a, here's a treat that will leave you brassic for the really bad month of January. When yeah. you're like absolutely on your knees. I like yeah, January. January. My birthday's in January. You know, New Year's Day's in January. Well no, done. Yeah. You're getting good at your calendars, <laughs> isn't you? <laughs> Why is New Year's Day good? Oh, it's just, just start of New film. Year, isn't it? No, hope. but New Year's Eve is a good bit. No, but on New Year's Day, you get hope, you know, and a fresh start. <laughs> is it, is crisis? Is it just because it's your birthday in January that you want to defend January? No, genuinely, I like New Year's Day. And New also, Year's 2nd Eve, of January shit. now, one of my greatest friends, Jack Finnegan, says birthday, 2nd of January. That two. Is a, that's officially Ooh. the worst birthday on planet Earth. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is stick. That's the second worst birthday. I'm sure New we're going for the big it. fat Chinese on the second. No, because everyone's celebrating your birthday at midnight on New Year's Day. So everyone's uh, out for your birthday. Christmas Day is your worst, worst birthday. No, no, you oh, and Christ. A hundred percent. He's in a pod. That is the, wor the worst day you can have a birthday. Mm. Christmas Day. That's a fucking pig of a day. Why is that shit? Because your birthday is swallowed up by Christmas every year. Yeah. Doesn't matter though. You, you, no, you it get, does. It, I bet you. It, bet it will to yeah, everyone. So we get who's... two celebrations. We get two gifts. You go, oh, that's for both. No, <laughs> sharing your birthday with Christ is the greatest life you could possibly get. I'd love to be born on Christmas Day. Disagree strongly. I think it'd be good. When's so, your birthday? Fifteenth of November. Oh, okay. It's all right. Just yeah, that's why like winter you give it up like it. It's nice. Yeah. What do you think the best birthday is? So do you think the best birthday is like the first of July or something? Like yeah. halfway through? I no, reckon, no, no. I, the I reckon best I reckon a middle of summer July because if you're a kid, that splits the presents perfectly. The end of July. You get winter presents and then summer presents. The last week in July, surely, because you, you finish school when you're a kid. It's the summer, so everyone's like happy. Do you know? You don't, no you don't one get will come to your birthday party. My my middle one, twenty first of June, summer solstice, longest day of the year. Bang, end of June, perfect birthday. That isn't it? Yeah, oh, barbecue. Yeah, the most day. How good is that? Longest That's day of the year. And my boy, first of April, April Fool's Day. Same here, my my lads. Is April first, yeah. Sharp. Yeah. That's weird, isn't but it? But I still think you. I still think if you've got a wintry Christmas and all of that, you want a summery birthday. I was meant to be born on a day that doesn't exist. I oh, well, I was five days early. 29th. I was born on 29th of February, yeah. My, my, one of my closest friends is born on 29th of Feb. It's so sad. Every four years. And they just make it the 28th. Yeah. Three years but, out but of... But then, every four years, it's like... Oh, it's your real it's birthday. It's an event, you know? Yeah. It's the, like a fucking The dearly World departed Cup. Queen of England was born on the 29th, wasn't she? Bitch. Was she? Yeah. She had about 14 birthdays, though, didn't she? Yeah, because of that. Oh, is that why she had two birthdays? Yeah, 29th of Feb. Wow. I thought she had one in like the middle of the year just because she was the queen. I reckon she just spawned. I don't reckon she was ever born a little lizard. I thought she just had a ceremonial one where she yeah. was like... She was born on the 21st of April. I thought it was well. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone lied to me many moons ago. That was Queen Latifah. <laughs> uh, and then he always mixes those up. And you hate Queen Latifah, bitch. Um, I think that'd be great to just go, do you know what? I want a ceremonial birthday. If you, you're born on the 2nd of Jan... 100% you're allowed to just be like, I'm picking one. We're all doing it My then. My dad's got one. You get one in Turkey because they don't, they, they register you like a year after you're born or they did when he was born 60 odd years ago. So he had they his birthday. They did that with Yakubu, but they did it 15 years <laughs> after he was born. Yeah. So my dad's actually 26. <laughs> That's mad. What? He doesn't look it. I know. He looks really old. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Fuck. spoke to my dad the other day. I did. Why? FaceTime. He FaceTimed Finn. He was like, what's happening, lad? I had a little chat with him. He's a scouse. Go all right. What's happening, lad? He's a lovely man. So your dad gets... <laughs> so what your dad gets, got to pick a birthday? No, so it was when they registered him, which is in April. I'm not 100% sure of the date. So his actual birthday is the 10th of August, or they think it is. They're not sure. That's They've mad. just kind of guessed. He is like it was, they were like, it was around then. And then he's got another birthday in April. We didn't give him two, no. We, oh. He celebrates. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm your dad now. Yeah. That's the main thing, yeah. isn't it? How many kids you got, Lauren? You Three. You got three kids? Yeah. How old, though? The eldest. Because we're a similar age, aren't we? But I think yeah. we've lived slightly different lives so far. <laughs> well, yeah. As I say it on stage, I've got a 21 year old, eight year old, and five year old. Everyone goes, ooh. And I go, yeah, different dads. Fuck off. But the. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, hey, that I, is a different dad gap. That is a different dad <laughs> age gap. So, yeah, um, I had the oldest when I was 20, and she's 21 now. So yeah, I don't know. It's a it's it's fruitful for uh, 
Stand up and all that. I mean, because she's like a different generation. So she's all like, you know, she's all like really posh, speaks really nicely. And oh, stuff. really? She's a bit like, raw. it's my back here. Yeah, she's a bit like that. Is it? Yeah, that's what oh, I made. Wow. Oh, what the fuck have film. you done there? I don't you know. Done you, some... got, you got off the train work, and went on a fucking work. spoons and now you've got a little young Tory. She, uh, no, she's not quite Tory, but she, 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 she um, yeah, man. Tories you know, don't she... use the word raw. Raw, like raw. <laughs> no, they do. Because like their dad's a Tory, like raw. No, she's just a bit, I don't know. Is it all a posh? No, 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 no. So how did this know. happen? Did she go to boarding school or something? No, I just raised her right. Do you know what it was, actually? I live in a... We're going to raise you posh, girl. <laughs> We're going to raise you fucking posh. Go on. <laughs> Talk to me. I, um, she did this thing called... We, we live in a place that's quite gentrified now. East London's getting all gentrified. So yeah. it's all her peer group, really. Yeah. And then she went to a thing called... Oh, what do they call it? It's like hippie brownies, but like, like woodcraft. So that's where all the kids went that were posh. So she just had little posh friends. Right. That's it. And it's like... So she's from the East End, grew East up in End, the East Bordenbread. End, just like you. Yeah. But it's just a generation on, all of a sudden she's like, Woodcraft for life. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. <laughs> What's but up? Like, I remember her in secondary school and she was like, there's a girl in my class and like her parents are like, on benefits and I like as though the first her first five years weren't me on benefits. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, like, before I did my degree and started teaching, for, yeah, she's just probably like, I just raised her too well, I think. Or, or wrong, I've raised If wrong. my child ended up talking like some gobshite like this, I just, I think I'd just give them away. Yeah. But what if you, <laughs> just release what, them back into the world. Like and a you're puppy. in LA, you might have like an LA brat, you know what I mean? You might not. Yeah, someone... yeah, but like if I was, I mean, first of all, it'd be New York or Austin because I'm a cowboy, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> and, He's uh, a New York cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> New York cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, By the way, if, you, if your nan you're gets you one of them parenthood. jumpers for Christmas, <laughs> it's fucking jag. You like the NFL? The New York Cowboys. <laughs> um, yeah, they, 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 they'd have an LA accent, but that's not posh, is it? It's not, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of doing her disservice. She's not like... Ah, ah. No, what we've heard, what we've done there is, we, as Northerners, yeah. you're trying to do like a bit more young, like woke, not yeah. woke, but like what we've heard is to us sounds like Tory. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like. But it's charming with you because you sound like Ray Winston. So it's, it's a. <laughs> yeah, but I bet I bet Ray Winston's daughter don't. I bet Jamie Winston's part. Of, you know, do you know what I mean? But the, of course, all, all her friends talk like that, and they you know her friend. We're all like single mums that have just obviously worked our way up. <laughs> nice. And this is what we get. This is the reward we See, get. See, to me, you sound posh though. Shut what are you talking really? about? No, but like, compa like we're not, compared to us, yeah. Carl, what are you talking? It's a fucking East London accent, <laughs> no, mate. I'm, which is like Southern, though. Your enunciation's much better than ours. What did I say? You, you, <laughs> said, <laughs> you said up then. You said up. Ah, yeah, I say went. Oh, we're going. Up the going. stairs. Ah, ah, posh, man. It's not posh. It's Cockney. Yeah. Up. Say up the get stairs. Up, get up them stairs. What the fuck? It apples and pears. Up. Yeah. Well, we went. We're going up. Yeah. Up. Oh, <laughs> we let <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, up. No bollocks. She's that posh, you. <laughs> So you've got to sound like a Yorkshire Neanderthal. Oh, all right, okay. I like it. What's East London, East London like? I've never gigged. I don't. Oh no, I have. What's the what's the Empire? Backyard. What's the Backyard? Hackney Empire? No, I don't count the, the big theatre shows, darling. Since we've changed. <laughs> backyard. Backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight, actually. Good vibe gigging in East London compared to like in town. It is. It, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's all changed now. It's not like you would have to go out to Essex and all that. Essex and Kent would be where you'd think an East London crowd are. They've all migrated, didn't they? And they're all like... It's all being gentrified. It's all coffee shops and patisseries now, yeah. sunshine. And do you know what it is? It's young people. Young people are scared to laugh. You know, like young white people, they're like, should I laugh? But if you're like with an older crowd, like sometimes I do downstairs at the King's Head, you've done that in North London. They're kind of like... You know, the educated sort of liberal sort of left. Yeah, even if they find it funny, they're like, I can't laugh at that because I'm sat next to someone who protests against that cause. Yeah. Oh, really? But when they're in their 50s and 60s and they're intelligent, they, they know they can laugh. But I think younger crowds are a little bit like... Oh, oh the absolute worst, the worst is a freshers gig. Oh, yeah. If they're in the mood to be lemmings about it, because they don't know who they're sat with, yeah. and God forbid that they'd have a, an opinion on anything... Like, don't get me wrong, I've done some good freshers gigs, but they're, that's the worst, isn't it? Yeah, young people who who aren't brave enough to have an opinion that contradicts someone that they're with. Yeah. Like, when you're older, you're like, oh, I don't give a fuck, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they haven't lived, have they? I think most people, yeah. And they're, they're worried about being judged, and I think that's why, like, you should always have the audience in darkness because people don't want to be seen laughing anyway. Like, yeah. it's it, like there's a subconscious thing of how I can't be seen to be laughing. 
Which is why you never like the audience. Never. Give them their anonymity. Yeah. Let that, them they, laugh that, and wank. Like these young ones are like, oh, we can't laugh at that. These That's a joke ones. about paedophilia. And what if the person next to me got bummed by their granddad? Like they're worried. You know what what if mean? the person next to me is a paedophile? <laughs> All yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in the dark. We don't want to see it. Yeah. I was Put the some... pedos of the young ones in the dark together. <laughs> I want to do some freshers quizzes next year. But like thinking of that now, maybe it's not a good idea. No, it's not. Because my questions are quite, you know, yeah. offensive. <laughs> On, on reflection, Carl. Illegal. If you can sell tickets to grown-ups, I'd stick in that lane, mate. No, I was just going to do some freshers gigs just to, for something to do. Carl's going on tour with a quiz. He's going to be the first person to go on a national tour with a quiz. I think it's going to be fucking great. Is that right? People want it, yeah. People so want it. Leeds, People want uh, I think I'm going to do Leeds, Manchester, Glasgow, Newcastle, London, maybe. That's the, They're the most uh, requested there. Um, what sort of size rooms? 2,000, uh, so 3,000? For a quiz. <laughs> We've done a thousand though. We have done a thousand, yeah. Two hundred it usually is. But the the prize is so the prize next month's four thousand pounds. Is it bingo? No, it's a quiz. I write it or well, we, we we write a quiz. And it absolutely could not be done at a university. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say some question we say some questionable things, don't we? But yeah, four thousand pounds next oh in February. It's not bad, I'm is there. it? Yeah. So you were on benefits, you had your you had your kids and then you were like <laughs> I'm sorry, that was an absolute screech. That was my fault. But I was like, Laura, so do you want to go to his quiz? Um, you were on, you were on benefits, and then you went, "Fuck it, I'm going back to uni." Yeah. So you already had kids, and you you had your daughter, and you were like, "Right, I'm going back to uni," and to be a teacher. Well, yeah, not to be a teacher. I just thought, yeah. Do you know what it was? I bumped into my old English teacher. That's what happened. I bumped into her, and I, you know what I mean. I never thought I'd be a single mum. So many girls left school and just had babies. Do you know what I mean? And I, I, I didn't talk, do it straight away. And you could have knocked me down with feather. I, I, I just didn't, yeah, it just didn't. Yeah, so I had her and thought, well, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life for two or three years. Well, no, I was busy looking after her. And then just thought, no, I should be going to, yeah. How old were you when went back to the uni? 20, about 23, 24. Yeah, I went back when I was 24. It was so much better. So much better. So, 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 so much Because he was a single mum as well. <laughs> well <yeah. laughs> it was important. They had the nursery for the kids and all sorts. But yeah, it was good. I mean, and... um. Yeah, and just loved doing my degree. And I just had more confidence in everything. So I did my degree, then did my teacher training. And then how long you were you a teacher before you started stand-up? I started, I was about seven, eight years into teaching. Yeah, and it was just that feeling of like, I, I, do you know what it was? From being a single mum to being like, I've, I've written it in my Observer article, but you know, like just like getting a husband, kids, and it's like, it's like tick, 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 tick. And you think, this is not what I want at all. This is it, 30 years. Like, so I, st I started stand up just before I went back after my third child. And that was it. One so how old were you? What, what, so was that it? Was that just the, that like, were you just like, I'm sick of it. I want to try something. Had comedy always I, been I in your head? I always wanted to do it. I, Always wanted to do it. I just didn't get brave. I don't know how you started at like 12 or hour. hour <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anyone has that confidence. It was felt so like too big for me. Do you know? I don't know. I just, it was too So were you like 36? 37. I knew, I heard Ricky Gervais start at 37. So that was my, you know, like asteroid splitting moment in Armageddon. You know, you're like 37 is the oldest I've heard of anyone starting. Do you know what I mean? And I... I just thought if I go back, I'll never do it. That's been a rapid four years then. Oh, rapid. I mean, I won the Funny Women five months after uh, starting and then I got signed. Do you know what it was? I got signed with French and Saunders agent. I watched 300 years of French and Saunders in, in the Christmas 2018 and I just cried. I just thought, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> and I just, so I started and then Maureen Vincent, their agent, I was co-signed with her before the next Christmas. How fucking mad is that? Um, you can turn life like that. I think some comic, because we started young. You were 18, weren't you? I was like 20. I think sometimes when you start young, like there's almost... There's nothing to say. There's Yeah, with all the comics that are... Like, don't get me wrong. I'm really glad I started that young because I got to get the practice and get yeah. good. So that when you're a bit older, you're like, you've got so much mileage under, you, like, under your belt. And... Um, but the, the the acts that start older have got so much more, like Adam says, life experience and just got so much more to go back. Like Jeff Innocent only started when he was older, didn't he? Yeah, he was in and his he's 40s. he's fucking brilliant I know. And you, but the thing is, uh, and sometimes you see lads that are getting really frustrated, but actually things start blowing at 30 often. Do you know what I mean? Like in the early 30s, because all of a sudden, it don't matter how skilled you are, you want someone that's got something to say. You want people, and also I think there's, for audiences, well, I mean, we're mugging off certain audiences. For me, it's like, you want to feel you're in safe hands. 
Yeah. So when someone's going there, I don't want a 23 year old to go into fucking murky water. I don't trust you. Your balls ain't dropped. Do you know what I mean? But when it's like, <laughs> when it's someone in there, all of a sudden you go, yeah, I'll, I'll listen to yeah, you. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Like the type of stand up I sort of ended up doing in my late 20s, I could never have done early on because if you're being opinionated and saying, here's what I think about this, yeah. if you're fresh faced, like an audience that goes to a comedy club, because comedy club audiences are not really young. They're not like no. 18 to 25. They're sort of 25 to 40, aren't they? As yeah. a general, like uh, the, the 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 bell of the curve is 25 to 40 or whatever in the audience. Like those people do not want to hear what someone younger than them, like significantly and obviously and visually younger than them, yeah. thinks about the world's problems because they're like, why the fuck would any of us listen to you? about any of it, even in a comedic way. You need a little bit old, you need a beard. You need yeah. a fucking beard. You, all the ability to grow one. <laughs> or just or just talk about your life. Like yeah. I don't mind a younger comic talking about stuff that's to do with them. You're mm -hmm. like, yeah, cool. It's when you're doing the thing of like, it's, it feels like a younger comic has watched an older comic yeah. and gone, all right, cool. That's what comedy is. You're like, don't do that. Tell us about your life more than that. I, 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 that's interesting to me. I don't mind that at all. And I think that a, a lot of my success has come from, I know who I am. So I I, I come out and just 100% know who I am on stage. I haven't had to find out who I am on stage. I know who I am. I'm going, rah, it's like that. But you see so, I mean, it might just be a stage they'll have to go through. So many comics in the 20, you go, oh, you're doing him now. Oh, you're Bill Burr now. Oh, you're doing him now. Do you know what I mean? You see it and you go. Yeah, I saw your tweet about Shane Gillis. Oh, no. When you watch Shane Gillis' special, I, I and you stuff. were like, you were like, oh, now I realize why everyone's holding the mic. With, doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, is not like that's not a dig at Shane Gillis or anyone, no, but it's no, so no. funny because now Gillis is the flavor of the month, yeah, and he will be for a while, and justifiably, he's fucking great. Yeah. But if you're a 22 year old comic, you're like, God, that's the comic I want to be, and then there's some things you think you can copy because that'll make. It's just hack. But that's just it's Stuart, Stuart Lee was the same when Stuart Lee blew oh. up. There's about 7,000 James A. Casters yeah. now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I mean, what, I think this yeah. is the thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there is a billion and I, like, and I was a little Peter K. <laughs> yeah. I swear, cool, I really, cool. when I started out, I thought, yeah, I literally thought you had to go, eh? Like, <laughs> it was so bad. That's a piece of cake's catch. Right? So, no, no, like was a big that, one. Not generic, yeah, like, not. <laughs> but you were doing that in your Jamaican 20s lady. anyway. You see, you mate with a pair of trainers, you want them trainers. That yeah. is your 20s. Oh, it's you wouldn't so do, bad. That is your 20s. So 20s if you're doing it on shit. stage, it's your shit. Your 30s are so much, like, you're going to enjoy your 30s so much better. When okay. someone said that to me, I was like, you're lying. It's As if he doesn't delete all his brain with pop by then. Infinitely better. 20s are awful. 20s are awful. Oh, by the way, I quite enjoy my 20s. What? I quite enjoyed my 20s. Well, you are, but you're enjoying it for different reasons, aren't you? Because you can drink But you weren't like a real a person. I uh, know, but I was. Uh, had a lot of fun. You had a lot of sex and drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's. I think, hang on. I think that's what I meant. But do you respect your former self, Dan? Do no, you respect but, the Dan oh, Nightingale of his 20s? He was, was he a respectable man? Because I think he was a charlatan. <laughs> he was, but he was getting laid so much. <laughs> <laughs> that's very fuckable charlatan. Better, you know who you are. Like, you, don't, you, you give a fuck less. I'm sorry, I give less of a fuck than Oh, that's to. a hunt. That's very, very true. So important. Just like, I don't give a fuck what you think. Go away. And then you get to live your life better. It really is good. Being truly comfortable with what you think about me. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> I couldn't care less. And just then carrying on doing whatever you want to do. It's a superpower. Do it is. Want. And 40s are, 40s are even better. I, they are I think it comes just more with age. Happening. That's why, like, old men are quite happy to just piss and shit themselves and then answer the door <laughs> and be like, yeah. <laughs> I've shit me pants, put them in my pants, and you're oh. at my house. That's what we do. That's what we do. I mean, they do, though. I remember doing trick or treat, and the fella answered the door, and he pissed himself, and quite probably shit himself as well. But there's a big piss stain right down his pants. Oh, and, and, he, and he brought, like, the fucking Harry Bows to the door, and he's like, yeah, yeah. And I remember just him having this, like, he lived on... Um, Linstead Road in Dovecot. I can take you to his house right now. Because right. I remember this. He's not, he's not there. He's dead. 12. He is dead now. But yeah, I can take you to the house. I know what house I it was. I think he might have died a few days after. <laughs> Maybe. But he had... So, he was old age, isn't it? You he so obviously pissed himself. But he didn't give a fuck. He just... He, like... He didn't say it, but if I could read his mind, he's like, yeah, do you want these sweets? I've pissed myself, but you just don't want the sweets, don't you? So shut the fuck up and have you... Because you just gain more, don't give a fuck as you get older. Yeah, if you're in your I 20s, can't wait to pee if you yourself listen to this, If you listen to this late teens or you're in your 20s, you're like, life's shit. 
does get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't top do yourself, sort of thing. The um, <laughs> please, don't, please don't do that. Life, life Just goes. wait till you can shit yourself and piss yourself on <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> great. That, I'm there already. I love that Adam's like. <laughs> I've done. I've done the arena now. What other goals have I got? Shit me shit myself <laughs> yeah. on Halloween and no, not giving a fuck. Being able to shit yourself and not having any embarrassment would be the best life could get. That's a wild. I love, love it. I love it when younger comics try and tell me what drama's going on. Yeah. Like, oh, the, and then so and so said this, and then and then this happened, and you're like, I've got. I can give a fuck about it to a point, but you're like, I'm 42. I don't yeah. care. Like, I know, some of these are my mates, but you just, you just. Get a bit of perspective and go, oh, I don't give a fuck. It's not and I've got my own stuff going on and it's yeah. uh, don't, not asked. When people are in their 60s and 70s and they don't, like, they're like, oh, don't worry about it or forgive them or don't text them or don't do that. And you think, oh, you don't get it, you're old. You don't realise actually, no, they just have lived it all and no longer give a fuck. Yeah. It's like when you're, when you're a kid and you're embarrassed that your mum and dad would say brand names wrong. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that <laughs> thing of like going, no, it's not Nike. Like, oh, like, you know what I mean? You'd lose the mind. But when you get old, it's because you don't give a fuck. You're like, give us one of them slushy things in the cinema. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's a Tango Ice Blast. And you're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm already you know there, shit you know. called. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm there. Comfy pants as well. Oh. Fucking oh, elasticated trousers. <laughs> Sign <laughs> me up. Comfy pants. Elasticated trousers and fucking Doc Martens. Life is here. Not together. But you know, comfy pants. Just... Comfy you know pants. What? Comfy pants are boss and you don't give a trackies, fuck about Trackies, no just wearing track. I wore trackies on stage in front of 2,000 people in Newcastle the other day. <laughs> I just didn't care. I was like, yeah, I'm doing the gig and me monster But you actually pissed, pissed in them. That's the, that's, <laughs> no, that's the next I'm not level. there yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet. That's the dream. Doing laughs for kids. Hello, Newcastle. Piss. Take your sweet. Stop looking at me pants. I don't <laughs> keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're making me want to retire. It's going to be great. 57. I'm out of the game. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll ever retire from stand up? Um, no, I love it. I love it. Whatever I, they say. Because he like, thinks he's going to stop. You can't stop. That's not actually, stop. It's not actually what I said. I said, I'm not working he's gonna like I'm down. working now. No. Past 57, 60. That's not stop. That is go down a gear. Yeah. I won't ever want to stop. I already would like to go down a gear. Having just finished the tour and that currently I'm idling. It's so good. Yeah. Big fan. I know that won't last. By the new year, I want a gig again. But I can see a point in and around 60 years old where I might want not want to do it with the same sort of frequency as I'm doing it at the moment. I don't think that's mad. I get it. Giving up completely. Yeah. So I'm getting the... It's, it's literally in the past couple of hours... And the past few days it's been there, but talking to you two in that first half about what I want to do next, the, the background of my brain is working on my next show already. It's mad. It's mad how my brain works because I've got the rest of the tour to do, but I'm writing <laughs> in the back of my head right now. My brain's going, ah, it is, the planning is, how it's structured. Earlier, isn't it? Yeah, and no, I, I get it, but it's, uh, it, it's I, this is exciting me. Um, it's like the new shiny thing. It's such an ADHD thing. Like, yeah, the tour. Yeah, finish that. Film that special. But here's what we're already doing next. Yeah, I think that's part of the process, isn't it? Mm. What's your turnover like with, with material and stuff? Do you keep the classics or yeah. are you just constantly binning off stuff and rewriting? Well, uh, it's all a bit Trigger's Broom. Like a Club 20, Club 30 is a bit Trigger's Broom in terms of like... What's, a tri what's Trigger's Broom? You, know, do you, you not don't know about Trigger's Broom? I don't think he knows that. What? I think you know the scene, but like you might not know that phrase. Trigger from Only Fools. Yeah. yeah. Knows Broom. No. That he's had for 25 what? years. Trigger's what? Broom. It's literally a theory in like, it's a literally a philosophical theory now. And oh, it's one I'm, of the I'm, most famous sitcom talk, scenes ever. Talk me through it. Trigger's Broom. So he's sat there in a cafe yeah. with the, the rest of the yeah, cast. He's with Dave, isn't he? He's, he's with uh, Dave, he's with uh, <laughs> Del Boy, and is Rodney there? Rodney yeah. is Dave, isn't he? Yeah. Trigger, Trigger. calls. Trigger calls. Rodney, Rodney Dave. Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Right, They're going to call a baby Rodney Dave. Um, after I'm Dave. Yeah. So he, he sat there with <laughs> his... Shouting at me like I don't a, know the theory. You know what triggers broom? Go on. He's a cleaner, isn't he, or whatever? Street he's a sweeper. Street sweeper. Street sweeper, yeah. and he's like this. I've had this broom for 25 years. Has he seen this? Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's Kirby enthusiasm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's there, and he's got his broom. And then and Phoebe's said, there, and Monica. Yeah. <laughs> he says, I've had this broom for 25 years. And he goes, and in that time, it's had uh, 17 new heads and 45 new handles. And they're like... Why the fuck's that the same broom? And he goes, well, look, it's the same broom. Yeah. And in his head, because if you, at what point does it become a new broom? 
Eight, so own, if he got a handle, sugar babes. And, it's a, like sugar babes. a handle yeah. and a head yeah. at the same time, <laughs> that would be a new room. We did yeah. with the ship a it's while the boat ago. thing, and yeah, it? we yeah, used to yeah, replace yeah. a piece I of a boat. That. When did it become a new boat? At what point? I love that. That is a really good question. I think it's halfway, by the way. I think when it's now majority new. I think that's it's good. a new boat. When it's majority but new. It's when the increment, do you know the boat 30? Well, I'm th finding out about it. So let's <laughs> say you've got a, a huge ship. Is it from How I Met Your Mother? No, <laughs> you've got a huge ship and it's made up of, let's say, 100,000 pieces of wood, right? Oh, it's a new wooden ship. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's say one of those pieces of wood breaks and you replace it. Yeah. Is that now a new boat? No. So what if a second piece of wood breaks and you replace that? That's like saying, I, I've got a fill in. A new, a, a new and new person. <laughs> yeah, but if yeah, you come back from is, Turkey. That, that, so yeah. if the second piece of wood breaks, is it now a new boat? And how many pieces of wood would have to break and be replaced before it is a new boat? Has it ever left the water? Has it been renamed? No, it's got the same name. It's I still the job. Is but it's, the, it's made out of new pieces. It's not the, in any way the old boat. It's all new. Is it a new boat? When is it a new boat? I don't think it is a new boat. I think Never. it's the same boat. Even if nothing is the same. I think if it's gradual, you know. So if, if at some point all 100,000 pieces have been replaced with a new piece of wood, it's not a new boat? I don't think so. I think if it's still... If it's just been done gradually and it's I think I think it's majority I think when over half's changed it's a really good philosophical question so how many really? pieces of wood have you changed in your set that's the question oh, <laughs> oh Finn, look at that Finn. Finn's on it Finn is on it Finn's not in the back mood so he's trying babes. to keep it professional back to me <laughs> what I mean is I, it, it just constantly I go oh I've got I'll, I'll try those two free jokes and then it's just I don't even know when it's changed, but I'm always writing. Exactly. That's exactly it. So I'm always writing. And then, you know, I really tried this weekend to to two different sets over the nights because it was the first big weekend at Glee. It was like all the Christmas do's in, three gigs Which a one? night. Birmingham Glee. Yeah. And it was like the big three gigs. And you just couldn't sort of give them, get them to give a fuck. So I was just like, I just went for it on a Saturday night, just new material and different bits and You went new stuff. material? Not new, in, new in material, a Christmas but a whole new set of like, from what I was doing on Friday night, of what I'm yeah. currently gigging that's like solid gold. I thought, I just want to mix it up and just talk about going into town today. And do you know, like just a bit more, yeah. just you have to breathe life into it. But now I'm doing my first tour and it's like, Hearing you talk like that, I think, oh, maybe I'm not serious. Because I'm just like, I know the shape of it, but obviously it's my first tour. I want to put absolutely Yeah, but Adam's burned all in. of his old stuff. So when he says new show, he has to write a new show. That's what When I mean. you're going into, f that's your, this is your first tour. Yeah. You're allowed to get all the weaponry out and go, well, this used to fucking be a banger and that, that's, yeah. that's fine. I'm bringing all the good stuff to it. Yeah. But uh, then I think, well, then the next tour, do you always do stories? Is it always got a narrative? No. But like, th so th this, this tour that I'm doing at the minute, the first half, like it, it's, the first half is who I am. And the second half is a bit of an explanation as to why. Yeah. In, in a way, but like, that's not, um, that's not necessary. It's not signposted. It's not painfully obvious. You'd have to be a bit of a nerd to notice that. Yeah. Um, And, and the second half is, it, it's all quite personal, basically. Yeah. Are you getting uh, more personal? Yeah, because people seem to respond to it more. Um, And then the next show that I've, in the past couple of hours, started writing in the back of my head and I can't turn it off. Um, is I'm very excited by it because that'll be ve that'll be even more so. Um, it's scary though. It is. It's very scary to put genuine pieces of yourself on stage, but it is the most rewarding. Mm -hmm. And we live in. I think we're in an era of personality now where audiences don't just want to be made laugh. They want the more they get from you and with podcasts and stuff. This is sort of put it under a microscope and like blown it up even more that they, they want to feel like they're getting to know you through your, your work. I think more than just jokes. But I think it goes full circle. Cause when people start, it's like when you can tell when someone starts, it's like, so, you know, my parents are this and I do this and I'm from here. It's, it, it's very safe in it. You come, yeah. your first five, ten, you're just keeping it safe. And then as you get more experienced and honed, you go in and go in, aren't we all like this? Isn't that? And you're, you're yeah casting it all broad for everyone to come in, aren't you then? Yeah. And so now you're but once you've now got you're them face. in, you can be like, right, well, we all are here and you want more about me, we'll head it us. Yeah, but that's a stratosphere that you're in. Not everyone's in that. No, 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 no. And this helps with it yeah. because, you know, you've got so many hours to fill with who you are. And then there's guys who are excelling by doing the opposite. Yeah. Like look at Jesselnik and mm. Mark Norman by going, do you know what? There's room Actually, for I'm yeah. going to be, I'm a detached from, because I think that... That has a lot of value as well, doesn't it? Just people going, I'm just going to do the jokes. Yeah. Which I can't do to save my fucking life. Like, I have to be personal. It's 
but the guys who are good at that, superb. But clowning like that, it's like <laughs> Harry Hill, like you don't even know why you're laughing and somehow there's some truth in it. Somehow it's saying something about some stuff. I mean, he, 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 we did a sort of benefit gig the other day and he come out with some, something like, talking about the older generations, younger generations and, you know, people tearing down statues and he's sort of arguing that like older generations achieved a lot for, you know, the millennials. But he's going, he's going, we didn't tear the statues down. <laughs> Because we didn't know who they were. <laughs> <laughs> but it was then all clowning and all like, so it will sort of mix it up. But then he's just like talking about, you know, fucking peanut foam sort of packaging and you're just on on that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, but, when, yeah. when guys are good at that, it's oh, so amazing. I don't um, know how anyone does that. I've stolen this question. It's completely irrelevant to everything we've been talking about for the last 10 minutes, but I thought it was 10 minutes ago. I've stolen this question from, I've seen about five other podcast clips do this question. Like it keeps coming up on me, TikTok and stuff. And I think it's genuinely quite philosophical and interesting. Here's the question. <laughs> what, what is it? Question. Thank you. How many owls would you have to see in a day before you before you thought something was going on? <laughs> One. <Ooh. laughs> One owl. <laughs> I get it. Do you know what I mean? I get it. Because it's not one. If you seen an owl, you'd be like, fucking hell, there's an owl. I'd, I'd tell you that I'd seen an owl. 100%. <laughs> yeah, but that's Never not like the question. Zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Going like wrong. you're worried. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Two owls. But like, what the fuck? There's another owl. No, but like, like, at what point are you like ringing your mum and going, I, like, I love <laughs> you. Like, I'm, I love you. Yeah. But it's the owl apocalypse. <laughs> like, you think it's five? I went to an owl uh, cafe in Japan once. That was really sad. Was it? Mm. Right, cool. Back to the question. <laughs> um, what the fuck? What's an owl cafe? It's a cafe with owls. Just put them two words together and you probably get it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a cafe, there's a cafe, <laughs> and there's owls. There's owls. Like the cat cafe. But for owls. owls. Fucking Japan's mental. But they were all, um, <clears throat> they were all chained to their perches, and an owl had fallen off them. And, and there's you having a fucking cappuccino. I don't like coffee. I'll take you through my thinking with the owl thing, <laughs> right? I want to hear this. Like, I've got one owl, things. I'd be like, Fucking hell. Why'd you go to a fucking cafe then? Go so, and it's not like, obviously, you're not at a, a petting zoo or a farm or a zoo. You're just, you know, you're just out and about. So if I seen like an owl in a field one, I'd be like, fucking hell, there's an owl. That's mad, that. Hang on, where, 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 where? Just your normal any life. day. Your normal life. Any, See, normal I live life. near the countryside and it's still probably yeah, three or four. But you're just going about your day. It's, uh, as much as I want to be like, Carl's gone, fucking one, maybe two, mad. <laughs> I think it might be three or four. So I think at one, you'd notice it and be like, how oh, mad that? Have you seen a second one? I think you're like, I've seen another owl. I think it That's was the same mad. owl. I think I've seen maybe like five owls ever. And now <laughs> I've seen two in the same day. Weird. Third one, I'm like, right, hang on. There's owls everywhere here. What, <laughs> what, what's going on here? I think the fourth one is the kicker. Mm. I think the fourth one is right. No, bollocks this. Where did all these owls come from? And I think at five, I'm ringing Carl going, have you seen any owls today? You check the news. A four. <laughs> you would check, yeah. yeah. A four, Blake, there's something going on. Yeah. <laughs> the news? The news, Quickly. though? I'm going to check my owl app. Oh, it's a high density of owls today. If, <laughs> if you get... Even In East London, surely that's going to make you... You're going to be at two and worried. At what point would you go home and just shut it's the doors and hope that it all passes? <laughs> I think that's like 11. Hang on, have you, what have you heard owls can do? <laughs> it's not about that, is it? <laughs> it's not about what they can do. rapey owls? What? No, it's not that. It's, it's just... They're there's... nocturnal. So if you're seeing a nocturnal but fucking bird of prey swooping at you in the daytime... Yeah. Something's wrong. You know what I mean? This is the opening you know, of generally... Harry Potter is what we're talking about, yes, isn't we? Yes, it is. I mean, it, drive. Foxes are nocturnal, but not in East London. They don't give a fuck. They go straight into the chicken shop and order. They don't give a fuck. Order? They're bold as brass. But yeah, an owl, you're like, you, do you know what I mean? If you saw two owls that day, it might be like after dinner, you might say to your other half, oh, I didn't tell you. I saw oh, two sorry. owls. Third owl, yeah. You're like, you're well, you're in the family group chat. You're, yeah, you're, you know what I mean? There's Fourth owls. Fourth owl, <laughs> you're checking, yeah, you're checking local news. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I think if it got to double figures story like eight, be. nine, I'd ten, go home. I'd go home. Yeah, I'd go home. I'd shut the doors. I'd shut all the windows. I'd and be like, I'm not having this owl shit. I'm going to go and face the day tomorrow. There's just an owl in the living room. Yeah, that, that's uh, it. Yeah. If I got in and he was already in there. There's an just, owl in my living room. Oh my God. What am I going to oh. do? <laughs> there is an owl. Uh, I, uh, I accidentally stole it from Selfridges last year. And uh, it's still in my living room. What an owl? Uh, it's a fake owl. It's just like a... 
it's a statue of an owl, but like a fairy one. He wanted a memory from the cafe. We were buying Christmas decorations and it was like a tall white owl, but I think it was part of the um, like the decoration of the shop rather than for sale. And he put it up his jumper. <laughs> now I, I picked it up. I was like, I'm going to ask how much this is because I want it. And then I bought me stuff and then I realized when I was in like the car that I still had the owl in my hand. See, that's how you shoplift. <laughs> yeah, by accident. You just nicked an owl, Carl. I did and now he's in my living room. <laughs> I genuinely had no idea, <laughs> even though I'd covered it with several things. Mad, forgot I completely. Me top. Forgot completely. But it wasn't for sale, so did they even rob it? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. 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 That's up to you to decide. Is your car for sale? No. And if I took it, would I have stolen your car <laughs> by accident? Oh my god! <laughs> you didn't do it by accident. I did. I did. <laughs> Can we go back to the fact that when you started this conversation, Carl's like, one owl, one owl's enough. <laughs> I see an owl And then the day. fucker's got a stolen one in his living room all the time anyway. <laughs> Are you in a permanent state of like... <laughs> but yeah, I think three or four owls, you're like... You're I love, I love How many snow the, leopards the would you have to see? <laughs> one. Uh... <laughs> I'm going on with this one snow leopard. <laughs> <laughs> that about you. What if you left your house and there was three voles by your car? I get my gun. <laughs> I'd Google what a vole is. What's a vole? It's just an awful, a small awful woodland creature. vermin thing that needs shooting. A bit meerkat I'm thinking. Yeah, kind I'd of I'd otter. Shoot yeah. a meerkat as well if they were indigenous. Oh, no, otter, come on. You'd shoot an indigenous meerkat? Yeah, yeah, I would. <laughs> like, you're not indigenous, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> Blow its head off. I had to go somewhere with that. <laughs> That's where I went. I'd love to shoot a fucking vole. Would you ever shoot an animal? Because Dan, Dan thinks he would. Me and Adam just vehemently wouldn't, and he's a veggie, so we definitely uh, wouldn't. Whoa, 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 Adam whoa, whoa. wouldn't until I gave him a gun near a creature, and then I think he'd think about it. No, that's in, not true. I would, I would only uh, shoot an animal if myself or a loved one was in impending danger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you wouldn't have a I'd gun. I'd blow a lion's head off if it was trying to scan you. No, you wouldn't have a gun. I, I'm saying he would pick up a gun to go and kill an animal. You wouldn't do that. Like, he would actively... Are we in the lion park and he's trying to attack me? No. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> You go to the lion park with your dad. Oh, yeah. Pogs has gone badly. <laughs> like, do you know what? Adam is constantly, Adam, ah, Adam, come on, take us down the lion park. <laughs> what's, what's the lion park? Lion park. <laughs> Mate, you've got, you've been to an owl cafe. Don't be fucking, we've got the lion parks. You know? Would you, would you ever? Yeah, a, a German shepherd attacked my dog and I would, oh, no, that's if different. I saw it now, I'd kill it. Just 100%. Revenge, yeah. Oh, sorry. And the caveat owners. is that you would all shoot animals. Nice one. No, yeah. you're going out actively shooting animals for no reason. Like hunting, yeah, vols. Just hunting. protect your loved ones. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, pre I'm playing the long game. You want a vol, you know? <laughs> are you getting them before the attack? Yeah, you don't know where vo what vols are planning. Maybe I'm just, you know, thinking long term. Would you shoot a deer? Would you go hunting and shoot a deer? I mean, see, you would. Yeah, yeah, he ain't against it, is he? I mean, where where's the deer? In my garden. It's getting his head blown off. No, no. no. you've gone to prick. There's a deer in your garden. You go out and give it a stroke and take a selfie. What, a book? <laughs> a book? A big book? I'd hunt it, mate. No, you, you could imagine being buzzing off your tits, though, killing an animal. Imagine hunting yeah. an animal all day. I've done crabbing, and that is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that's, I've done crabbing that's as well. That's a buzz, isn't it? That's sick. <laughs> yeah. You don't kill them though, do you? No, but oh, still, right. you, you, you catch you, a crab in you New Brighton, get out, and there's blow a crab its head off, throw back yeah, in the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? So shooting yeah. one, that's like, if, if you know, that's, that's freebasing. Yeah. The is... harder the animal, the better the kill as well, isn't it? I'd love to shoot an eagle. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Fuck you, America. Pow. You'd shoot an eagle? Yeah, I would, Carl, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you shoot a big grizzly bear? It wasn't attacking <laughs> you. It's not, you're not worried. What'd You've you gone to his house. Would you shoot him? I've gone to the grizzly bear's house. <laughs> yeah, it's in the woods. Right. What? Have you seen that domesticated grizzly bear in Russia? <laughs> Is he mates with that monkey? <laughs> it's called. He's called Tom the Bear. It's not domesticated. They just hasn't killed them yet. I've said this before. No, he literally he, he listens to sit and have a, have a butty in there. Like they, they... it the, just the hasn't Russian. killed them yet. No, he's Carl. No, it's a grizzly bear. Yeah, no, yeah, and it's massive and it's fully grown and it's just doing what it's told. He's in the house getting his For teeth now. brushed in there. He brushes teeth. They go open my and he's like, and he brush it. And one day he'll bite their arm off. No, he won't. Oh. Your dog could do that. He couldn't. He hasn't got his mouth about Not your thing. dog, but like Jack's dog could bite your Laura, arm off. Laura, he's just him. Laurie, Laurie, you've it's been dragged into a, a conversation so that we've been having. <laughs> These two. 
<laughs> Laura, would you trust an animal that isn't domesticated like usually? I wouldn't trust a domesticated animal. When I see, oh. don't my, my my brother's got a pit bull and he, like his little boy plays with it. I can't handle it. Yeah, I can't handle watching it. I, I don't think it's cute. Oh, they can all turn. All animals can turn. My dog 100%. is a Maltese Pomeranian. I wouldn't trust it around a baby. You just can't. You can't trust an animal. Yeah, that's right. why I hunt dogs as well. You know, because <laughs> you can't trust them. You don't trust them. I'm solving Jack's a problem walking, for you. Dan's walking around Sefton Park, <laughs> just looking after your kids. <laughs> you know, get rid of a problem. I couldn't shoot an animal. The two no, you blowing the head off. You don't know what you're capable of. I, I could shoot a human if it was me or them. You know, no, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Protection, yeah. But I'm saying actively going out hunting for no reason. It's different, isn't it? There's could, always a reason, Carl. Yeah. It Sometimes it's, it's just lust. Because it's fun. <laughs> Bloodlust. <laughs> oh, if someone came in my house and I had a gun. No, actually, no, I wouldn't. I just push my bed against the uh, against the door and thing the, ring the police. <laughs> Finger the police. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a minute and try to get this police officer's <laughs> completion in here? Just push you the bed against the bit. wall and finger Come them to completion. <laughs> Come no, on. So Seneca, I mean, this isn't true. This is all hypothetical. Seneca has a weapon under the bed. Um, I have an axe next to my bed. Yeah, for when people break in. I'm like, you're not going to hit anyone with a weapon. You push the door, the door, the bed against the door and ring the police. That's yeah. what you do. But what if they've already got into your room? <gasps> what, you have more time to <sighs> oh, lift the bed fear. up and get the weapon. Oh, well then, that, yeah, that's a first mistake. You lift, have it like next to your bed. the bed one of them like... Oh, you just yeah. pick the axe up and it's a deterrent really. You don't want to have to use it. You're just like, get out me fucking floor. I now. sleep I sleep with my rifle because you don't know where <laughs> vols are going to get in. <laughs> fucking Oscar Pistorius over there. I love that I've just decided that I'm going to go hunter today. But do, do you have a weapon in your bed? <laughs> you do. Do you have a weapon in your bedroom, Dan? Yeah, Laura's got a baseball bat. To play baseball with. Well, I assume it's for protection. It could be for, I don't, I don't know what she's doing with baseball? it. Baseball? Yeah, that's what I was in play. <laughs> She's always playing baseball. Isn't he was she? implying she was using it as a big dildo. There you go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> no. You could fuck yourself with a baseball bat. Especially if you had poppers. Probably four. <laughs> so it's just, just, just protect yourself with like barriers. You don't have to hit people with axes. Barriers? Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? If I put the bed against the door, you're not getting in the room. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't you're think it works. Like, what, if they, what if they come through the window? <laughs> Carl, don't look enough. at me like I'm Stop. fucking stupid. You don't need to protect yourself. Just make barriers, make a den. <laughs> and no no murderer burglar can ever get in your den because you've not let them in. Vampires can't come in. You've not invited them. Come We're here to kill you and your partner. Right, well, good luck. I have several barriers. <laughs> come through the window. It's not fucking Tom Cruise. Bagel is breaking downstairs, not upstairs. That's not uh, that's not necessarily true. I'm a, I live on the road as well. They'd have to they'd be seen. Everyone lives on the road. What do you mean? <laughs> 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 no, I mean My house is in the woods. I'm <laughs> very vulnerable. You don't live on the road. I've got a front garden. Is what I mean. As in, like, I'm on the. Yeah. Like he's got a front garden. Yeah, that's even worse. You know, they can hide in there for ages. You'd see them. <laughs> <laughs> I I've talked some shit, you know. <laughs> no one's coming through your bedroom window. You don't know that. That'd be mad. Also, you need to be vigilant and get a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> no one's coming through the front. Not while I'm building ba boundaries. <laughs> Look at me. I've got a wall, a bed wall. All right, if they're in the house already, put the bed in front of the fucking dorm and the police. Stop thinking you're mad with axes. No. You're not. They always have a bigger axe. What they you might, doing? yeah. And then, and then it is what it is. You know, it's an you, both throw, you go, look, man to man, you throw your axe down and say, come on, let's have it. Square and up. if they're a man, if they're truly a man of honour, so they'll what? So what? follow suit. So what? The, plan is, the plan is, you've got an axe, the burglar's got an axe, and go, <laughs> hey, this is fucking, this is, this is no gut. Put your axe down, I'll put mine down. Count to three, and then we'll fight it out like men of honour. And what are you? A burglar. You're on smack. Never mind that. You've got smack, but you've got your honour. Right, three, we'll put it down on three. One, two, three. Now, I shouldn't have trusted you. <laughs> now, you've got an axe and I haven't. Damn it. Not all burglars are smackheads. Some of them are just, you know, businessmen. <laughs> they want your goods. Yeah, they're in the business of stealing. Yeah. yeah. And they are a man of honor. Oh, no, there's no one amongst thieves. Sorry. Yeah, no, bad idea. That. Keep your axe. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's have a break. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dan Nightingale here. Time to talk about my absolute favorite sponsor. It's Love Honey. Because I love wanking and wanking people off. Isn't that right, Harry? Shut up, Harry! You dirty little fuck pig. Anyway, loads of things you can buy your missus or your fella for Christmas. And if you're not with anyone, just treat yourself. 
Oh, you want some examples of these sexy goods that love, honey? What about the arc wave? Pow! You've been wanking with your hand. Grow up, mate. It ain't 1998 up in this bitch. It's the future. Feel yourself. And what is this? Oh, you got a shower, but you want to have a sexy shower? Then you need the mm, womanizer wave. Honestly, you can clean every crevice of your missus, and some of them will be for pleasure. And then this is the one, isn't it? Because Christmas is boring. What are you going to do? Get your partner a calendar with loads of flipping out of, it, out of the chocolate? Boring. Get a sexy calendar from Love Honey. You open it up. What day is it? On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nipple tassels. You'll be jizzing every day up until Christmas. Isn't it, Harry? It's good, isn't it? Jesus, baby. Shut up. Love Honey. .co.uk. Use code WORD20 for 20% off site-wide. And you're a little fucking dirtbag as well. Naughty. Get on me. I'm tired. What do you think of that? Harry, stop enjoying it. Such a slut. Love, honey. What, um, what part is it? I don't know. No, you do. Come on, Adam. You've got to do it. Part three of four. Yeah. No, it isn't. It's part, it's part four, four of four. four. He said three of them for. Oh, yeah. What? No, oh, he's part not, four. He's yeah. not right today. Oh, Pot noodles sent him, sent him west. Finn, have you got any uh, preparation? We do. Are we ready to give some advice? Oh, <laughs> advice. Feel sage. Do you feel sage, Laura? And on you. Oh, um, yeah, I'm quite sage. Quite sage. Um, I think you'd be good at advice. Yeah. You lived a life and you go. Oh, whatever. I go ever. I've lived a few lives, Daniel. <laughs> right, go on. Right, so. Anonymous, as always, send them in to haveawordpod at gmail.com. Uh, in need of some advice from the lids, please keep it anonymous as I listen to the pod a lot around the house with my wife. Jake Garrett. Yes, from Jake While Garrett. under the influence of the devil's lettuce, me and my friend have come up with the idea to make our own fellowship where we will together write a list of pharmaceuticals, document our experience in the form of letters to ourselves and bury them safely, and one day in the future return together as old-aged men to That's recount sick. our journey. Although the obvious would not be tried, aka smack or crack, opium is very much on the table. So is DMT, MDMA, and other psychedelic substances. The problem is, we are both married, and this could prove fatal to both marriages if they ever found out. Would living the secret double life of being a psychonaut and going spending a day or two psychonaut. away from the family absolutely off our tits be worth the risk? Many thanks. <laughs> I love the pod. Keep doing the God's work. Lads, lads, you're married men and you're like, oh, would it be betrayal if we went away together as men and just took <laughs> loads of substances and didn't talk about it? You're describing a stag do, you fucking <laughs> wusses. It's a stag do, except you know what men do? They don't write a fucking diary about a stag do. Also, you're going to get potted off your twat and forget to the letter? I know, DMT. I'd love to see the letter on DMT. <laughs> You're just like uh, on communion with God. Have you done any pot? Pot? What, only what? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> jazz um, cabbage, we call it. Yeah, jazz. I've done the old wacky backy jazz cabbage. Yeah, when I was younger, I didn't mind about that. I'd, I find in your foot, uh, things set up. I've done that. Done mushrooms. LSD? Done, not LSD, done E. I do love an E. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, um, smack? Never done smack. Would you try heroin? <laughs> yeah, I'd try heroin. Yeah. At the end of my life, I'd try it. Oh, you're too busy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, people. I think people think you take heroin and then you're an addict. I don't think it works. I don't like think that. it works like that at all. I think you've got to have an addictive personality. Yeah. I'm not scared of trying it because, like, no. I just. I think I'd be able to just be like, that was nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm compulsive, not addictive. I think they're just trying to. Ju exactly. I, I mean, it is nice. The thing is, we just see crackheads and smackheads. You know what I mean? If you're but willing to lose good. your whole house... Yeah, it must be good. It must be lovely. It must be so good. Yeah. I do have a problem. Like, I got addicted to tiramisu. But I love so McFlurries. Yes. Yeah. I love McFlurries, and I'm not addicted They're, to McFlurries. I can not, say no if I'm on a diet. I'm yeah. just if no you were losing diet. your house, and you were like, stop taking McFlurries. But I don't think stop? everyone's anyone's ever been on the street sucking dick for McFlurries. So I think that's part Except of it. Except for your mum. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, um... Especially the smarties one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm compulsive. Like, I'll get bang into something for, for a little while and then I'm done. Same. That's it. Yeah, it's but like I think, yeah, sort of... just three months on heroin could, could be a rough three months, couldn't it? Yeah, but I'll just have three hours on heroin. Just smack me up. And that's how, and drug, then... and that's how drugs work. And that's how yeah. addiction works. Don't but do, I've had cocaine do before and don't... I didn't get addicted to that. Didn't like pot either. All right, we'll get on the smack. What are we what? having this argument for? It's, it's it's you heroin. don't believe that I could do smack and never do it again. You, you do... don't believe in me, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I could do crack right now. Is heroin just a forget? 
Is that just like a, I want to forget me life? No, I think it's to I feel think it's amazing. Lovely. I think no, but that, I'm saying like, it's lovely. Laura, it's are you apparently... smelling heroin? Smelling? <laughs> you're selling it because you're making it sound quite good. Apparently, you're just like ah, it's very like orgasmic. Yeah, but it's the forget and sleepy. Life. Surely, yeah. But it's I, like having I, a big cum and then a nap. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I don't want to do heroin. Just <laughs> 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 describe two of the best things ever: coming and napping. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'd be that, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, don't do heroin. <gasps> I think they're trying to intellectualize something where they just want to go off and do something. Go and do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The, yeah. the whole point is don't ask for permission. I mean, I don't, I just think. Also reading back your thoughts when you've been high must be horrific. Oh, it's like a pissed joke. You know, you've ever written something down, you think that is not Three o'clock in the morning. No, I don't mice have tits. <laughs> mice milk. Um, I say do it. See how the chips fall. If your marriage is... Skating on such thin ice, it ain't a great marriage, is it? If you're the type of guy who's interested in doing something like this, your wife should have some sort of idea that this is... Get it involved. In she might want to do it too. Yeah, yeah? I mean. Maybe she wants to do some smack. No, nah, they nah. won't. She won't. Why? No, oh, no they said like they're smack? not doing smack and crack. Yeah, they're, yeah, doing yeah. The, they're doing the hallucinogenic sort <laughs> yeah. of stuff and everything. How do you think Sarah could react if she wants to do this? With her? L like, yeah. Or, or oh, she would 100% be into it. Yeah. Yeah. What about with me? Yeah. I think I'm uh, my own person. Oh, no, I meant Serica. Oh, yeah, go for it. All right, cool. She's so just go for it, yeah. person. If Serica came to you and said, I'm going to go and do all this part and other stuff with me friends, but you're not invited, would you be Sam with her? 100%. As okay. long as she told me. In the, like, it's, it's the deceit that would get me. Yeah. Never lie to your partner. If Laura ever... Yeah. needs to get out of something. If, ever, if Laura ever, my wife, <laughs> sucks stick for McFlurry, I'd be fuming. I'm just telling Without you. telling you, you mean? It's nice. Oh, no, she could tell He's me. He's got boundaries. No, it's it's nice. I'd be, exactly. I'd, always. I'd still be annoyed if, even if I knew about it. I wouldn't be like, all right, is that where you're going? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> no, she's no, no, no. She's asking for forgiveness, not permission. She's told you she's already she's done already it. Done it. Yeah. Is that oh, worse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her just strutting indoors, eating a McFlurry or shoved a bit. There's loads of McFlurry. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She, she can't even eat them. She's already, she's full of. Is that dried ice cream? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'd be. I'm, no, I'm obviously all for it. I'm, right, sorry, I'm very liberal. Okay, let's have the next one then. So another bit of let's. advice. Uh, Hi, Liz. Love the pod. I need some advice. Been mm -hmm. shagging this one girl from work casually, but also meeting my ex girlfriend and shagging her as well. As me and my ex know each other oh, well. I'm getting too much pussy, lads. <laughs> <laughs> bit of advice. I'm drowning. <laughs> I need a scuba suit, breathing apparatus, because I'm drowning in pussy. Can you help? Here's my postcode. <laughs> As, <laughs> Come on, sorry. as me and my ex know each other but well, we have also been going out to restaurants, cinema and bars together, but never spoke about getting back together. I'm sorry, what? what? It's going, is it, what's it? Me and We're me also, are moving in yeah. together. We've got a dog, but <laughs> we haven't said I love you. We've please. applied so. for a mortgage. It makes sense. Her credit dating, my credit dating, but it's all casual. I'm fucking her. And her mum does live with us, you know? <laughs> well, that's just, that's financial. It's very casual. I made the decision to end ties with the girl from work and crack on back with my ex. This week, the girl from work came up to me, showing me a picture of a positive pregnancy text. Uh, Sh uh, test, sorry, sorry. Is it is, though? Shall I tell my ex, who I'm now in a serious relationship with, or just hope she never finds out? <laughs> <laughs> we live in a small town, and everyone... <laughs> 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 Hang on, this is Emmerdale, isn't it? <laughs> We're in a small town and there was a helicopter crash. Yeah. Every three weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, we live in a small town and everyone from work knows about the pregnancy. <laughs> and we go into my work a lot for cheap drinks, which isn't ideal. Is it worth spoons? Yeah. He's either a moron or lying. Oh my let's God. go for moron. Let's, yeah. go, let's pretend it's moron. Yeah. We don't know. No. This has been written in. So... What are we thinking? <laughs> put your dick away for a bit, mate. Yeah. Just try putting your dick away just for a, you give it's it a two, week it, off. It, no, it's, it's beyond girls. that, isn't it? It's only two girls. Yeah. I think he's got. He's only double dipping. There's no triple it's dipping. Like a horror. Oh, sorry. Little share, but dib dab dick. Yeah. But, he's but just, he's is she made... keeping the baby? I think so. Yeah, that's say a yes. big one, isn't it? Let's say yes. She showed him the test. I think that's not a what should we do about this? I Why would you show no, that is test. still what should we do about this? Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like, get on that. See you later. <laughs> get on that, by the way. Already in the bog. Don't worry about it. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. You meant the test. 
Now the babe. Oh. <laughs> Lord. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, That's what I'm saying. What? Oh. Oh. He, he's just said that like that is a sign of, oh, yeah, it's already gone. It isn't. It um, isn't. No? I don't know. I don't know what I believe. Christmas season. <laughs> I think. I've only shit that baby. I'll not you worry about it. It's a picture in my toilet. There you go. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> So he's just gonna go in Weatherspoons, little Weatherspoons baby there. Yeah, no. That's it. No, he's, he's, he's gotta be honest. Just be honest. He's got to tell his ex and be like, hey, look, I was piping this girl from work. She's having a fucking baby and you can be as involved as you like. Why would she be involved? Because <laughs> they're Geordies. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah, this baby's are. gonna be so loved because this baby's gonna come in the world. Already got like three parents. Huh? She is a liberal woman if she's willing to do that. Yeah. It's what it is, isn't it? These things happen. I mean, he's got to, yeah, he's got to, he's got to be honest because. Get your ex pregnant ASAP and then you've got twins, but from different vaginas. Literally uh, brother from another mother. That's yeah. nice, actually. The very rare twins from different mums. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people just call Not them even siblings. Half, he said. half brothers and sisters, but we don't do that here. But you could, do you know you're a twin? <laughs> from a different vagina. Get your ex pregnant ASAP and raise them as little brothers who were like not twins, but like dead give half, Give one half an amulet. <laughs> give the other one half an amulet. Move them to different countries, see what happens. In a On your weather spoons wage. <laughs> Move them to different countries. <laughs> Put it in a basket. Put it down the fucking Nile. The only way that saves this. Look, she's pregnant, but now so are you. So, you know, one all. Was he, can't be upset has, with a draw. He hasn't done anything wrong, has he? <laughs> you can't be upset with a draw. You take a point away at Man City. You take a point away with your ex getting pregnant. Yeah, I mean, I he's not doing... He's not done anything wrong. I think he's... Pro I think his missus... If they're getting back together, which they are getting back together, aren't they? Yeah, looks like well, it looks yeah. like yeah. I think together. she's going to be a little bit annoyed, but the most important thing is, motherfucker, you're going to be a dad, so you got to do the right thing. Yeah. It doesn't really matter about your right relationship thing is status. Your ex pregnant as well. <laughs> That's our advice. Yeah. Also, you're getting back with your ex. Chaos, you know? They know too much about you. Oh, lads. Guess what's happening? You ever got back with an ex? I fucked everyone. What? <laughs> you ever got back with an ex? Yeah, it's like a lit firework. The sex is nice. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. Oh, Whoa. no. Whoa. Before, let's recycle your analogy there. It's like yeah. a lit firework. You never got the back. The sex is nice. Have <laughs> you never stuck a sparkler up your asshole? <laughs> Oh, no? I think I've got mental. Um, <laughs> you ever it, got back on the next lot? Was her name Catherine Wheel? Um, oh. No, I don't think so. Fireworks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's not good. It's, it's not, not good. Listen, that that's doomed anyway. You broke up for a reason. Getting back with an ex, does that ever work? I no. don't think that ever works. So you're now saying get with the woman that's pregnant. I'm not saying get with anyone. <laughs> I'm saying be honest with the the ex you're back yeah. with because that's not going to work anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of this is going to work. Just move. None of it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Just ghost them both. Go to a big town. Yeah, just leave them. Leave both. your Weatherspoons yeah. baby. They there. might be lesbians together and raid the baby. That's that's unbelievable. Lads, I've moved to a new town. Three women are pregnant. It's <laughs> like a nightmare. I don't even say women properly anymore. That's how pregnant they are. <laughs> Vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, the women could get together and raise your baby. Yeah. That's superb. Yeah. Have we got anything else, Finn? Yeah, we've got a couple of have a words. Oh, look at you doing have the old class ecos. But genuinely get your ex pregnant. That is the only way this goes away. How do you get someone pregnant? Like, you fuck them up. I'm coming. No, and I understand <laughs> sex. Carl, do you need a. Should we have a talk? No. <laughs> they have to be privy. Is this why you said I could have no babies? They have to be privy. You keep putting it in a bum hole. You yeah. can't fuck someone in the ass and get them pregnant. No, but you, you, they have to be privy to it, don't they? Unless you get a turkey baster and take it out and then put it in the pussy. Oh. They have to be privy to oh. it. They have to be privy to getting pregnant, yeah. You can't, oh, I got you pregnant. I know. I was yeah. part of it. <laughs> That's true. That's What's your point? I'm saying she might not want to get pregnant. No, but like talk to her and be like, look, just trust me, right? You'll be happier pregnant than not when you find out what's happened with fucking Susie. Susie Dent. <laughs> then have we got anything yeah, else? Yeah. Have we got some other words? Yeah, I thought, yeah. I talking shit. That was oh, real. Carl, what's what? sex? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get someone pregnant? Um, go on, Finn, what you got? This first one is from Dan Williams. Can you have a word with my mate, Ben? We've been to a couple of funerals recently and he's always on the pole, <laughs> offering a shoulder to cry on. I think his morals need to be put back in check. No, he's the guy. Uh, 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 he lost question. me at funeral. What's he doing? He's going to funerals on the pull, oh. trying to take. Uh, he likes. He likes eighty-two-year-old widowers. He's mopping up that grieving clan. Yeah. 
We've been to a few funerals. Yeah. <laughs> Three or more. I think this <laughs> needs to be an investigation. You know what? You could be killing people <laughs> to get birds. Yeah. Oh, is that the official ruling on few? Well, like two would two be a couple, a couple wouldn't isn't it? it? Been a f- been to a funeral recently, been to a couple of funerals, been to a few funerals, is three or more. Oh, I Several f- is like five and more. Four, four or more. How many funerals in a year before you start getting worried? <laughs> Our funerals. Yeah, our funerals. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th- I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I if, don't think so. If you're mourning and you want a bit of the D. It depends who it is, though. Do you know what? No, no, no. Funerals <laughs> yes. are... Are we really not worried about these going to so many funerals? Was this like a double made of suicide thing? What the fuck? Why are you not worried? What were you, you going to say then, Laura? I was going to say, I think <laughs> funerals are like Easter. Do you know, like Christmas is like a wedding where it all feels a bit like the pressure's on to have yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. But Easter, you could have a barbecue, you could go around your mates. There's no rules yeah. to it. And a funeral's like that. So I just think, yeah, everyone looks good in black. Do you know what I mean? True. Everyone's looking good. You can get pissed. You know what I mean? There's money floating about. No one gives a shit. I just think anything goes at a funeral. And someone going to a funeral, oh, I love it. I think Grief there's nothing Do wrong with it. Do you like a funeral? I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it because I don't want anyone. Yeah. I don't want to lose anyone. I fucking love a funeral. Is it? I go to funerals. I've been to some bells of funerals. Oh my! Oh come on! It Not is like a, like once you get over the sad bit and they're in the fucking mud and you're just getting in, you're on the booners. It is a good day. Oh <laughs> uh, fu- yeah, because you're not allowed to laugh, so that's funny. Do you know what I mean? Like, if oh, the actual s- s- service. Service is funny, but afterwards you're allowed to laugh. Aren't you? Yeah, but the, the wake's fun. Funerals are like. My granddad's sister fell onto the altar as she was going up to give a speech, and it is without any shadow of doubt the funniest thing I've ever yeah. seen in my entire life. Did you laugh? My sister's funeral, and I know that's a terrible start to a funny story, but one of my nephews, his mate, he passed out, and it was it, and it was so funny. Like he passed out just as like it was Van Morrison into the Mystic. Her song was playing. And he fucking just totaled it. And we just <laughs> collapsed in laughter. And it was still a good day. It was a good day. Yeah, it I, was a good day. I, I, a good <laughs> I think actually it's a good place to get laid. Because everyone's like, you know what? We're not here for long. Get, get your dick fuck. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, get your biff out, girl. Because the, the star of the, the show ain't there. The you, you, you don't have to worry about showing up the star of the show, do you? They're gone. Yeah. I think it's just the Unlike a wedding. Don't like trying to shag the widower. Yeah, no, no, I mean, yeah, that's, that is that a faux is, pas. That is yeah. absolutely true. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. widow's sister, the fit one in the LBD. <laughs> or just, you know, an attractive person your age. In the van. <laughs> <laughs> we do still need to get to the bottom of I why there's even. so many funerals. <laughs> yeah, he's deaf. all killing people for pussy. Yeah. <laughs> You call Harry as well. If you get a job at a funeral directors to get laid, that's too far, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know. What, well, getting them before they're dead? <laughs> <laughs> they're lads though, funeral directors. You see an undertaker and funeral boys, directors. Boys. They look, they're, they're laddish, aren't they? they yeah, yeah, they're all, wow, yeah. wow, wow, sorry for your loss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ray Winston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ray, sorry for your loss. That's all funeral directors. Have we cut you the coffin then? Yeah, they're heavier than you expect, isn't it? Yeah, and they ruin your suit for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just that. Don't be anything. I've cut you the coffin, it was a wicker one. Like a, uh, it wasn't like a wood. Pool bearer. Yeah, a was, wicker, a wicker one. It was a wicker coffin, yeah. What's not that crazy to yeah, imagine? Yeah. You yeah. understand what wicked is? What fucking hippie have you buried? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. It was Seneca's dad. I don't know. <sighs> well, I regret the question. <laughs> what? Did he get burned? He got cremated. Yeah. He's in, yeah. The, li- he's in the living room. <laughs> yeah. Five yeah. grand for a wicker coffin. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because wicker burns easier than mahogany. But mahogany um. burns. <laughs> I mean, mahogany does burn famously. What's me? Well, it does. What, what famous? Where's the pain? <laughs> well, it's wood. Yeah. And wood burns. Hard. Wood does burn, but wicker, wicker burns. burns wicker oh, burn. sorry. Yeah, we'll save the fucking Lord, do you cremation my, place. Uh, my conspiracy, by the way. Coffin makers are on the scam. They, they whip the person out the coffin, put it back in the shop and sell it again. No. My mum used to work for Carp Funeral Care. Nah. She oh, was always really? on the conspiracy <laughs> bus. <laughs> Oh, you just myth busted me there. But they always do that. They do it for florists as well. They go, oh, they take the flowers back from the from the cemetery, sell them again. It's one of them industries where people like they don't even have clean limousines. They love slagging each other off the funeral firms. Oh, really? Yeah. True story. Oh, so it's like beef between them. Oh, of course. Mad. It's a very competitive industry. I think that I think I could be a humanist minister later in life. You, I know You'd one, know and you would be so yeah. good. That's, That's why I, I want you to be. It's mad. like a gig, isn't it? You've done by three o'clock in the afternoon. Make up some generic bullshit. You know, life. Dan's oh, ma- life. Dan's money and me. Life. The last oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I th- I'm also going to do their funerals as well, which is nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's two for one. Please. Um, what do humanists believe? 
Um, Inhumans. Yeah, it's a celebration of your life. Can't argue with it. It's like it's non religious. This is the story from their life, isn't this amazing? I want a fucking mad out of a funeral, by the way. I don't want anyone sad. I want you all in your fucking best suits. No black shite. Just wear whatever you want. Pink, blue, little pinstripe, whatever you want, fella. <laughs> Pink and blue. Dumb and dumb. It's a gender, it's a gender reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, it ruined it ruined my shoulder for the whole day. That upset me. Yeah, my father in law was heavy. Yeah, it's heavy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's full on. My nan's had a few uh, a humanist funeral and the the celebrant uh, wrote a poem, but it was very like uh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, that's so trying to keep a straight face. Is she that. is dead? Dead is she? Fiddly D, fiddly D. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> not far away from that. It that was literally great. that. It wasn't. Why? Because you try not to laugh because she's taking it serious. There's not wrong with laughing, though, is it? Like, yeah, there is, I think there is. When it. someone's playing it dead straight, oh, maybe, you yeah. can't laugh at them. No, but that's the hardest to not yeah, laugh yeah, at. Yeah. Someone taking something seriously that you're not taking seriously is the funniest thing in the world. Hamilton. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Hamilton? No. Don't. <laughs> oh really? It's, it's the best thing that's ever been written. They just seen a bad one. It's just, uh, yeah. It's just History. <laughs> right, next one. This is from Jamie Stanton. Hi lids, I need you to have a word with my mate Lee. We have a big friend group made up of mates who went to school together, and one day in the pub, we booked a weekend away in Bristol to go on the piss and see a band that uh, that we saw when we were in college. When the weekend comes, we all arrive to the hotel, but Lee is nowhere to be seen. Instead, this specky lad rocks up and says he's Lee's girlfriend's brother and Lee had sold him the tickets because he had planned with his bird that weekend, despite the fact he never mentioned anything. We called Lee and he confirmed this was true and he thought that James, the specky lad, would enjoy it more. Because James had legitimately paid, we couldn't really say anything, so we went to the concert with him and I had to share a hotel room with him and he just made the whole weekend really fucking awkward. Have a word with Lee for being a daft bellend. Cheers. It's awful. awful, awful mate techers. Also, this little dweeby cunt who took that offer up and was like, I'll go with all your friends. Who's this? Yeah. That's the girls engineered all of that, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is psycho bad behaviour. That's It's giving hangover. Take yeah. my take my specky little brother. <laughs> <laughs> specky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can we do a retake of that? It's giving hangover. Take my strange... Specky little brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. That's it. She's manipulated all of that. Oh, you're no, you're not some friends with me. We'll send our little John. You're mine. The you don't need your friends anymore. <laughs> you just need me. Come here, you. She's frightened. <laughs> she's, also, she's also sisters with little John, the rapper. <laughs> Send him. Yeah. Um, that's what you need to say. Oh, oh, that sounds fucking painful. By the way, you don't have to share a room with anyone that you don't know. That's got to be a yes, rule, isn't it? I know. Oh, you know me very well. I know. Um, that's got to be a rule. If you're like, yeah, yeah, you can give tickets away. You can't give half a hotel room away. So what do you do in that situation? Fucks. Becky off. <laughs> Fuck's Becky off. You gotta no. be like, mate, you can have the ticket. I'm not sharing a room with you. But he's, I don't paid know for you. The, he's paid for his half of the room. So do you go and then pay for your own room? Because it's on you then. If he's paid for his half of the room, it's not really his fault, is it? Make the room inhabitable. Just stood there naked <laughs> the entire Shit time. Everywhere. Yeah. Like, this is what I do in hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> See how long he lasts. And what if he's like, this is what I like. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, that's a gamble. <laughs> this is what we came for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what if he just sucks it off? What are you going to do then? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like heroin. <laughs> totally uh, redeemed himself. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's on you to go, do you know what? I, I'm not comfortable sharing a room with someone I don't know, so you have that room, I'll go and pay for my own one. But you can't go, you're not staying in my room if, you, if he's paid for half of it. Yeah, but then he gets half a room then, doesn't he? I don't yeah. think you should... <sighs> Genuinely, I don't... I think if you've agreed to share a room with your mate... And they go, guess what? I'm swapping out. Fuck off. Yep. But then it's on you to go and get a, another well, no, room. No, I've got, like, I've booked a room. I just don't know. I think that that's the bit that is Booking the most a room minging. with somebody, you have to, like, have a certain relationship with them. Like, there's, I mean, fr there's friends is it really that big of a deal to share a room with someone you don't know? Unless he's, like, fucking hollering in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, that would be a lot, wouldn't it? Holler. Go on. I can't see! <laughs> Put your glasses back on. <laughs> Like, if he's in bed, like, if he's snoring or he talks in his sleep or he's just there going, woo, if he's doing any of this shit. No, do you know what? As a comedian, I'd actually pay extra to have that guy. <laughs> hollering, hollering, woo. Love it. Turns out I've got a new ending for my next tour. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> like, that would be annoying, but if he's just a normal, regular guy with no sleep issues, I don't think you've got any grounds for kicking him out, Daniel. I don't think you should have to share a room with anyone you don't know. But like, what, what are you worried about? That he's going to no, no, I just no, I mean, no, but like, no, literally, certain... do you know what I mean? You, you must know what I mean. Yeah. You cut, like, when you agree to share rooms, it isn't just a like, well, that is a place. It's not like a ticket on a train. He's bought a ticket for room 11 at the Premier But what Inn. are you worried about? No, I'm just saying it's just fucking grim, isn't it? There are friends I don't you've got to you wouldn't share with. Friends. Only because they're a nightmare. We don't know this guy's a nightmare. If he's a nightmare, he's then said. yeah. But if he's just a regular guy. So by that person. Person. <laughs> said he made the whole weekend awkward, didn't they not say? He yeah, it says he made the whole re weekend really With his hollering awkward. and whooping. <laughs> <laughs> and his raping. You're ruining the darts, lad, shut up. Yeah. Oh, woo! They know it, they knew, he knew it was a nightmare because he didn't, they didn't give him the heads up. They didn't give him a warning. Yeah. It was, he was literally arrived. Laura, you're so right. Yeah. Thanks, Brains. I'm getting into released, it. it. Did he make it or how did he make it awkward or did they just feel awkward because they didn't really know him? Was always he in the corner being like, <laughs> making weird noises and acting like a squiddle or something? I don't know, do I? How Peter was he making it awkward? Patrick Will! <laughs> Would you share a room with someone who came in and was acting like a squiddle? No. That's what I'm saying. But it's too late, isn't it? Yeah. But we need... Yeah, but at that point, I'd be like, he's acting like a fucking squirrel, lad. I'm not sharing with him. Oh, that squirrel John's fine. <laughs> he doesn't holler. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and he might suck you off. Grow up. <sighs> I haven't got any more bullshit in me. <laughs> no. I think we're done. Laura, thanks for coming in. Thank you, you're welcome. Where can people find you on social media? Where do you tour tickets and when does your tour start? Um, that Laura Smith on Instagram. And then I'm... LauraSmith.com for tour tickets. Smith spelt with a Y. Smith spelt with a Smith spelt with a Y, indeed. That's um, a Y instead of the I, not at the end. It's not Smithy. Yeah. <laughs> Smithy. <laughs> What's that joke? That's a funeral joke, isn't it? Is it? Where the man he gets a headstone for his wife and it, he wants to put she was thine, Lord. And they missed they missed the E off. So they said, You missed the E off. And he says, All right. So puts it back on and he E, she was thin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so <laughs> more of that, more of that on tour. <laughs> April, um, I start tour. I'm in hot water. I am at some point as well, mm -hmm. Liverpool. Um, yeah, so they can find me. Super. Have we got a tune? We do, but just before the tune, I want to give uh, Harry's documentary a plug. It's coming oh, out oh, Sunday the 17th. So if you're watching this uh, on Early Access, out tomorrow, but if not, Watch it now. Harry, you go ahead. Plug oh, it. You. My plug Life it with a Wigan Head. Uh, it's a documentary with a cult uh, in Manchester. They believe an old woman is God who lives in South Korea. Uh, it's free to watch on YouTube. So please watch it. Hang on. There's a woman who lives in South Korea who thinks she's God. Yeah. And they think she's God and they send her loads of money. Adam's just had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about my next project. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how uh, many people I could convince I'm God. So go and check Harry's uh, documentary out. And then we've got a tune, which is from Chris Mardula. It's a Christmas tune. It's called It's Christmas Time. So go and check that out. Jesus only convinced like 12, didn't he? And he's still fucking banging around. How now. many patrons has Jesus got? We've yeah. got 25 and a half thousand. Jesus had 12 boys, mate. Everyone else thought he was a gobshite. That's a pod. Revolution.